All right, we are live, and I honestly, when I sent out the Discord notification, I didn't realize there was an update that made the stream title appear in the link, so I didn't fuck. I didn't expect it to just show up there, but regardless, <clears throat> that slight moment of weakness aside, uh, we are back with more Professor Layton with the retrospective and the funny box. So, how about we stop beating around the bush and get right back to where we left off in this mystical, wonder-inducing adventure. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't got a script. I don't, uh. You'll notice I made a, a few tweaks to the stream setup, like, I put the title of the game or whatever, or the VOD, or I guess the VOD at this point. <laughs> so, you know, so anybody who isn't, um, you know, following or whatever and just happens to stumble across is like, oh, hey, Professor Layton or something like that. Or, you know, I just, you know, sometimes if I just want to put a cheap quip down there <clears throat> relating to the game's title, something like that. Also put the brand up there, extended the chat a little bit so I'll be able to read y'all better. You know, just just some just some minor just some minor quality of life stuff for the for the for the uh, setup. Anyway, the story so far. Leighton, Luke, and Flora learned that the name of the phantom town they're headed to is Full Sense. As the train is nearing the station, only inky blackness can be seen through the window. Feeling uneasy, Leighton and the others steady themselves as they prepare to enter full sense. Well, I mean, we've kind of... We're kind of... All, game, we're already here. We are in full sense. You can tell because one of my favorite tracks in the game, the, the theme of full sense is playing right now. I love this song. It is so, like, calming yet unnerving and just the... the ah! Ooh. It's that good shit, but we're not gonna be hearing it for long because I assume there's a puzzle right here. Okay, there is no puzzle. Oh, fancy right into you here. Hello, hi, howdy, hi, and all that. Hey, you're... The postman, yep. I've got a post to deliver here, but it's always dark when I come, so it takes forever. No wonder the people here always seem so on edge. Well, that's all the more reason for me to bring a little sunshine to everybody's life with the post. Why, you deliver letters all the way out here? I certainly do, and I have a schedule to keep while doing it. So on that note, I'll be off. See you around. It would seem our friend the postman works a very, very wide area for delivery. How many covered drops down in full sense every single day? The two towns are so far apart, it would be simply impossible. You may think so, Luke, but our world is full of inexplicable phenomena. This is but one of many. I suppose so. Really, Layton? You're not gonna question that? You're just gonna be like, oh, well, some things just can't be explained. <laughs> that seems strangely out of character. Also, that's fair. That's fair, Hana. There's so much to do in in life. <laughs> Yet, <laughs> you do so. We all, we all end up doing a lot. <laughs> God. I can't wait to do another... I can't wait to read another fucking volume of Doro Hidoro at... 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. <laughs> God. Uh, are you alright there, Flora? You don't look well. I'm not sure. I just started feeling sick all of a sudden. I really ended at the worst time. Look, by ending at the worst time, I have therefore ensured that I will be back the next day. It, it's a strategy I've set for myself. I will read one volume, maybe, maybe one volume per day. It depends on how long the volumes get. I may cut it sometimes, but that is the goal. So that way, usually, either it will end in a way that makes me want more, or in a way to where I am like, you know, you know, I like these dudes. I want to see more of them. Th that kind of thing. You know, instead of just ending smack dab in the middle of things and not remembering where I left off and all that. Yeah. <laughs> I want to put myself on a consistent schedule because, like, I, I, I have been taking, like, consistent month-long breaks between reading and that's no good for me. That's no good for anybody. <laughs> 
so you know. Uh. I'm not sure. I just started feeling sick all of a sudden. It was white as a sheet. We'll find a place for you to rest straight away. Hmm. I don't see any hotels. If there were any, you think there'd be a sign or something. Despite the lack of advertising, I'd say one of those buildings over there is a hotel. Professor Luke and Flora decide to seek out a hotel. Okay. I got a lot of energy. I don't know why. Oh boy. It's like a puzzle, but not. Oh god, no, it is a puzzle. <laughs> Where's the hotel? Near the town train station are four buildings standing in a row. One of these four is supposedly the local hotel, though it lacks a sign. Even so, if you study the area carefully, you should be able to tell which of the buildings is the hotel. You work out which of these four buildings is the hotel. <laughs> we gotta find the hotel! Hmm... Is there like... Am I supposed to like... Analyze like... I don't... Is it... Mm, I, where do I start? Honestly, I want to start by like ruling out C entirely because I don't think I've ever seen a hotel with two small doors. It's usually like the one big one. So I'll just... I'll cross that bitch out now and if it turns out to be the right answer... I'll be whacking myself with a shoe. I don't know. It just... Yeah. If I'm just that dumb, I don't know. Uh... Hmm... Actually, maybe it's this one because it has like the the like smoke coming out of it so late at night or whatever. Cause I don't know. Maybe it's not really it's not really giving me much information to go off of. It's just like you know, last sign. If you study the area carefully, you should be able to tell which of the buildings is the hotel. Okay, but eh? maybe I I'm thinking A or D probably. I don't think it's B or C. I'm gonna go with my gut and say, because of the little smoke coming out, with his smoke, you know, and all that. Hmm. Come on. Let's see Fuck, vision. okay. That's yeah. fine. I'm stumped. Uh, give me a hint, I guess. Just study the four buildings carefully and the answer. What do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? Study it carefully. What does... Eh. Eh. <laughs> what area is there to study? There is like, okay, there's smoke on this one, two doors on this one instead of one. This one has like the most windows, I guess, and this one has like the little rooster spinny weather vane. Weather vane. Really, the only ones that give me like a sign are A and D. Just leave it to me. But I guess it's not, it's C. Watch, it's gonna be what? fucking C. I'm stumped. It's going to be C. Watch me just click C without thinking anymore because I'm pissed off. And then it's just gonna end up being like, Welp, I guess I was wrong on that one. Because I just was. <laughs> but like, d they look like hotel, what, what is the, okay. Game, I want to know, what is, what am I supposed to be looking at? What do, what am I supposed to be looking at? I did... Oh, wait a second. Motherfucker. Does it literally spell out hotel on number C? Oh my god. Oh my god. It does. It... I should just close... I should just stop the stream right now. I should, I should just... I should just stop the stream right now. I really should just stop the stream. Oh my god. That's right. The windows, the clock, and the door of building C spell out the word hotel. Today's just not my day. How long were you here? Like three minutes. But I but I went through two wrong answers before before second guessing myself and thinking, maybe it is C. <laughs> so it was still kind of a fucking embarrassment, but you know it happens. Gotta get my brain in working order. Get myself some more funny snack, maybe. How are you doing, Flora? Any better? 
a little bit. I think with, with some rest I'll be back to my old self. Flora, Luke and I are going back out to learn more about this town. Why don't you stay here for a while and rest? Yes, take it easy for a while, Flora. We'll be back before long. Thanks, Luke. Be careful out there. You too, Professor. Okay. Do you think Flora's going to be okay? I wouldn't fret too much, Luke. She may just be exhausted from our long journey. I think our best course of action is to gather whatever information we can and hurry back to the hotel. After all, a gentleman never keeps a lady waiting. Flora's left the group for now. Check your child with you at the top screen, of course. Professor looks like she's allowed to sit down. Eat my funny cashews. Oh, hello. Oh my god. Oh, g rare latent L. Rare latent L. Jesus Christ. That is his mouth. Good evening, sirs. I do hope the young lady traveling with you feels better soon. <laughs> Might have to go back for this puzzle later. <laughs> no, not just his neck. The fact that what you think is his nose is actually where his mouth... Th God, I hate. I hate. My thought process for the funny hotel was just like, <laughs> you know, look for the ones that look for the things that look hotel-like. Oh, hey, a puzzle. What an elegant flower. It smells so nice. While we're on the subject of flowers, tell me, look, have you ever heard this puzzle? I don't think I ever thought that was no But it looks like the nose is just like, ah! It's confusing. Nothing smells quite as pleased for- Oh, it's just the- it's the rose puzzle again. I didn't even realize it says smell the roses again. <laughs> I'll do it, sure. Okay. Sure, I'll do it, why not? Oop. Ah! Okay, I'm getting pretty close here. I found that identical room is cues behind this dictionary! <laughs> God, that's good. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh. oh God, uh... Oh, no. Wait. No, that one's fine. That one is not. Trying here. Oh no, that that's not gonna work because then ugh, you need to. Just, mm, but what's this one do? Okay, that's that one's fine. That one's fine. This one is not. Okay. Well, that works. But is it good? Hmm. Oh wait. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Yeah. I'm so I'm 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 so close. I am so close. Ooh! There we go, there we go. Progress not progress. Oh god. Oh fuck. Ah! <laughs> I'm. I'm trying over here. Wait, oh! Hello! Oh, it's so. It's just right there. Wait. No, I think that's right, but I need to. Oh, God. Come on, come on. Come on! I 
I mean, they're pretty fun, but yeah, it is trial and error. God, it's a, it's, it's a lot of experimenting with like, okay, what combination will work? Okay, okay, wait. No. <sighs> just, 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 just think. <laughs> God, okay. Uh... I'm trying. Ah. Hmm. Maybe if I work backwards. Uh, maybe I only need. Maybe. Wait. Yeah, that was the staircase, wasn't it? That was like the staircase pattern. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Just a little bit of tweaking. strikes again. Good. With those roses in place, the whole room will smell great. Ow! 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 I don't know what is wrong with my back today. God, oh. There we are. That takes care of that puzzle. Nothing creates a feeling of tranquility in a room quite like a fresh bouquet. I'll say, those flowers in the Monetary Express's deluxe rooms really relaxed me. Ah, yes, the ones that the conductor placed in the room were very soothing. Hmm, of course. It's so obvious that I can't imagine why I didn't think of it until now. What do you mean, Professor? Look, think back to when that train carriage switched tracks. Can you remember anything? Well, honestly, I don't remember much. I dozed off during all that, so everything's a bit foggy. Of course it is. The sudden sleepiness we experienced was no coincidence. Furthermore, I don't believe it was mere chance that we awoke upon our arrival in full sense. No, I'd say our little nap was part of a larger plan. What plan would that be? Were I to, w were I to venture a guess, I'd say that I damn. <laughs> Line, I'd say Sammy's roses contain some kind of extra ingredient. We sent everyone to sleep so that one of the carriages could switch tracks. Precisely, my boy. I'd wager that only those riding in the deluxe carriage were taken away to full sense. Well, Lane, that's a lot of that's a lot of expository dialogue for what is, I thought, an optional puzzle. Okay. Everything I've seen leads me to believe that Dr. Schrader visited full sense. The Elysian box and the facts we need to solve the mystery of his death are close by, I'm sure of it. Do you think whoever stole the Elysian box might be hiding here as well? It's still too early to tell, but I'll know more if we can work out why Dr. Schrader ventured out here in the first place. For now, our best course of action is to search for anything connected to the Elysian box. Let's get to it then! Lead the way, Professor! Alright, let's get hunting. But can we enter the other house? No, we can't. They're all gone now. I mean, they're all unanswerable now. Mark my words, Samuel. It's here in town. I can guarantee that. You want to scour every inch of this place and bring it back to me as soon as you find it, okay? Oh, come on, Uncle. Do you really think it's everything people say it is? I don't know. It kind of sounds like a load of baloney to me. Am I just playing tricks on me? Because Swan just told me that my information was wrong. You're in no position to be lecturing me on this subject. Now get out there and start looking. Okay, okay. No need to blow a gasket. I'm going. What do you think Mr. Beluga and the train conductor were talking about, Professor? It would appear that they, too, are on the hunt for something. Look, Professor, what on earth could that be? Oh, hello. <laughs> That's a lot of locks. It's some, it's some sort of strange book. Perhaps someone dropped it while running about town. Yikes, take a butcher's at this crazy symbol on the cover. Take a butcher's. Never heard that one. <laughs> Let's have a look. The symbol seems to be in the shape of a goat. Whatever it is, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. I do wonder what's written inside. It's hard to tell. These logs mean we can only read the first entry. Still, the symbol intrigues me. Say, Professor, maybe somebody in that antique shop over there can tell us something about it. Excellent idea. Let's begin our investigation there. The old diary option has been added to the trunk. Oh, hello, I complete- this- this completely slipped my memory. Beluga seems to be working Sammy like a dog, sending him all over town for in a frantic search for some unknown item. It's unclear why Beluga would set up a secret train line connected to the full sense, but it's clear this item is very important to him. What could it be? Hmm. 
Besser and Luke decide to visit the local antique shop. Alright. <clears throat> well, actually, first, let me... Are you serious? That looks like where a coin would be placed. Okay, but then where is the coin around here, then? It's gotta be around. <laughs> no? Man, okay. Maybe another time. Oh, hey, tell me. Uh, short time no see, how you been? Anything else I can click before I talk to him? Okay. Just looking around, don't mind me. <clears throat> Inspector Chelmy, where did you come from? <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, laddie. I was expecting to see you two in a place like this. Some field work in Dropstone, I was able to deduce that this town and the Elysian box are linked. Dr. Schrader had stuck by quite the stack of research on the Elysian box. The criminal I'm in pursuit of, more likely than not, killed the doctor to get his hands on the box. So instead of chasing the man, I decided to chase the box. When I find it, I'll find the culprit. Wow, that's a solid bit of reasoning there. I didn't think Inspector Chelmy was that sharp. <laughs> Jeez. Luke's just fucking dunking him. <laughs> on one hand, this should be the final stream, but on the other hand, it feels like you're just halfway through the game. <laughs> yeah, this game might remember being a bit weirdly paced. I'm thinking maybe four streams at most. Yeah, for sure. Like, if this stream isn't the last one, it'll be the next one. Did you say something, lad? Um, no, sir. Not a word. Good, because I've got no time for idle chit-chat. I've got a murderer to catch and caught back to London. Come along, Barton. We're leaving. I mean, yes, sir. Oh, who's that back there? L looking stylish. Good day. Are you out shopping for anything in particular? I apologize, but we're not here to shop today. There are a few things we'd like to ask you about, however. Firstly, there's this book we found. We're also wondering if you'd ever heard of an antique known as the Elysian Box. Oh dear, here we go with that box again. You know, you're the third person to ask about it today. The third? Those two detectives you saw were here just asking about it, and half an hour ago there was a young lady. She seemed interested in knowing whether anyone had been searching around town for the box. Did you describe this young lady? Well, she was quite the beauty. She wasn't a local, but she had a face that seemed somehow familiar. Uh, and the officers, well, they said they were here on an official police investigation. I'll tell you what, I've told everyone- I've tell you what I've told everyone today. I wish I could help, but this box you're after is news to me. One of my customers, I forget who, mentioned something about the box having quite a history behind it. I think wherever in full sense it could have been the Herzen Museum, I suggest you check there. Where might we find this museum? Just look for the big building in the middle of town, on the north side. The museum houses a wealth of documents celebrating the history of our town. This is all extremely useful. Thank you for the suggestion. We'll be sure to pay the museum a visit. But before you run off, did you mention that you'd also found a book? Yes, that's right. Please feel free to take a look at it. Quite an unusual construction for a book of its age. Lovely work and very rare, I'd say. Would you happen to know anything about the symbol on this book's cover? I was just about to comment on how familiar that symbol seems, though it has no significance I'm aware of. I must confess, what drew my eye to the book was its locks. Old gadgets of this sort always fascinate me. Its construction is very basic, so you might be able to open the locks with any old key you find. As a matter of fact, here, why don't we see if this one does the trick? I think of it as my way of thanking you for both showing me... Think of it as my way of thanking you both for showing me something interesting. Many thanks, my good man. You got a diary key. Use it to open a new chapter of the old diary. Okay. Well, it's too bad we didn't find out more about that book. It certainly would have been nice, but we'll have to put the book aside for now. Time to pay a visit to the Herzen Museum. Yeah, I, I can see why you think we're near the end, because I thought, I thought this name right here didn't come up till a bit later. <laughs> I thought. Anyway, what's all this about? I met the most enchanting girl at the ball we held last night. These parties are usually a complete bore, but her presence changed all that. As the Duke's son, the unfortunate reality is that most people are overly polite and fawning towards me. This girl was warm and real, and treated me like she did everyone else. It was very refreshing indeed. I do hope to see her again. 
I had the great fortune of bumping into that girl from the ball again today. She's the daughter of some fancy lord or another, and it shows. Her intellect is matched only by the grace she displays. To be honest, I'm quite taken with her and have already started courting her. However, I fear that father seems less than pleased with the idea. Alright. Alright then. There's a bit of mystery lore. Oh, hi. <clears throat> I've heard all about you, Missy. I know you've been asking around town about that box. Oh, but I just... And before you say anything, I don't care who your old man is. No one's above the law. In my eyes, anyone out chasing the Elysium box moves to the top of my list of suspects. No, you've got it all wrong. Um, sir, if you wouldn't mind. What is it, Barton? Can't you see him in the middle of something here? Um, yes, about that, sir. Um, the criminal we see killed a man to obtain the Elysium box, so the villain should have it already. If the young lady was our culprit, she'd have no need to ask around about the box, in my opinion, sir. Oh, is that so now, Barton? I don't recall if asking for your analysis of the situation. Terribly sorry, sir. Please forgive my momentary lapse in judgment. Uh, I'll just be going now. Barton, get back here this instant, you... Pilchard? Pilchard! <laughs> hey, that's the girl we saw at the Dropstone Station. What was her name? Katie? No, that's not it. I believe you're thinking of Mr. Anderson's daughter, Katia. Yes, that's the one. I wonder what she's doing here. Hmm. Show us hammy boy is fine or something. All right. <clears throat> I will. I will. I will play with the hamster. Okay. <laughs> Drag items with style. Subdition them into the hamster's playground. Hamster notices any items within three spaces of his position. He won't react to any four or more spaces away. So really think about where you place your items. Touch an item to see the properties it has. Take advantage of the special properties of each item to maximize the hamster's workout. Place all items where you want them to touch. Exercise to get the hamster moving. Hamster interaction with the item. It disappears from the playground. His workout ends when all items are gone or where he can't find the next item. Okay. Each time the hamster walks a number of steps listed as his goal, he'll get a little healthier. Okie dokie. Get him to peak physical form. Hand me boy five blobby. Oh no. Oh god, what am I to do? Start by seeing if the distance is. Oh, it's in 3D. Oh, come on. I'm tired. oh it has a voice? I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, I guess that was out of its range. Well then. Hmm. Hemi Boy walked three steps but wasn't able to reach his goal. Hemi <laughs> could talk. I guess so. That's. That's a little cursed, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Don't know if I like that very much. <laughs> uh. All right, hold on. Let me think about this. He needs to he needs to reach eight steps first. Okay. Hmm. Maybe closer to over here. And then that would be eight, wouldn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah, that's eight. Let's try that. I'm not so good at moving and stuff. <laughs> okay. Damn. Okay. Hold up. Hamster is attracted to this adorable little house when it's within three spaces of him, but he will always ignore it in favor of an apple if there is one nearby. What's this one? Hamster isn't interested in these blo- oh, okay. It's for blocking his path. Okay, that's like a blockade. That's not like to attract him. Okay. Alright, and the flower is, uh, attracted to hamsters within three spaces of it, though he likes apples even more. Okay. That works. So, good at moving and stuff. so the block is like a blockade then, okay.
Damn, he just destroyed that house. But if I exercise, it'll just make me hungrier. Heavy boy walked eight steps. His level went from five to four. <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. What's this light bulb? When a hamster makes contact with this tiny light bulb, it flashes, causing your hamster friend to dash in the direction he's facing until he runs into something. Oh. So if he, say, runs into a wall, maybe... I'm not so good at moving and stuff. All right. Yo, look at him go! <laughs> and he gets to the house. Look at him! I think I'm getting the hang of this walking thing. He went from four to three. Hell yeah. Good. But what can we do from here is what I want. Uh, what's this? This tiny strong this tiny stump attracts the hamsters either if he's within three spaces of it. However, if an apple is also within three spaces, the hammer always go the hamster always goes for the apple instead. Okay, so if we do it like this, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. He needs eighteen. Let's try moving it up one? <laughs> Minimal effort, baby! <laughs> Why do I gotta move around? It's not fair! Damn, take a seat, buddy. You don't gotta destroy everything. Hammy boy walked 18 hey, steps. Is all for three and energy to spare. Hell yeah, look at him. What a lad. He's chunky! Yo! <laughs> his level is his level says chunky. It's it's obscured by chat, but I will show. Hold on, I will show very quickly. It says fucking chunky. <laughs> Peak. Well, I think that's enough for now, but when we get more items, for sure, I'm, I'm, I will be trying to come back and help my boy. We are not doing tea time. <laughs> Fuck the tea. I don't care. It's... It's pain anyway. <gasps> Yo, Stash and Scarf, how you been? Hey, <laughs> now there's a couple of mugs I've seen before. Hey, I know you. And I know fate, because that's what brought you, me, and that swanky tea set of yours together. Oh, no. <laughs> now that we're all reunited, I say we celebrate with a cup of tea. Brew me something nice, would ya? Who wants to make tea for you? <laughs> uh... That's right, Whippersnapper, but nothing fancy. A cup of citrus classic will do the trick. So he's gonna make even a baby can do it. Maybe with a magic tea set, that is. Hey, who? I need some oasis leaf, a little brisk berry, and a sprinkle of citronia seed. Well. <sighs> we have the seed, we have the berry, and we have the leaf. We can do this one. But only because, only because, you know, Stashin's a good, good lad. Wait, I didn't actually brew it. Fuck. I need to like, I need to like cover it, don't I? Right. Well done. Hell yeah. It's a little sour and sweet. Yeah. I certainly have to tip my hat to this tea's drinkability. I bet it would be delicious iced as well. Yep, since it's nice and light, I'm sure just about anyone would be happy to have a cup. Hmm, yes, I am partial to its lovely fruity aftertaste. Okay. Let me try something else here then. Let me see what this does. I want to see if I can get the dubious tea. 
Damn. Yep, there it is. Cassie, this tea is foaming! Oh dear, I suppose it's a clear sign this tea isn't fit for human consumption then. I don't understand. We checked all the ingredients. Why all this foam? I'm afraid I have no answer there, Luke. But perhaps we can use it here. Perhaps we can use it to clean the floor. <laughs> okay. Well, here you go. This is just the tea tutorial, so it's fine. It's fine. We do not have to touch it again. <laughs> Fantabulous! A smile spreads across Dash and Scarfin's face. He seems restored and cheerful. Hey, <laughs> not a bad cup of tea you make there, Shorty. Of course, you couldn't have pulled it off in my expert direction, so don't get cocky. This town is filled with thirsty folks. No, you got the tea set, so the way I see it, it's your responsibility to help people. If you manage to help everyone out with the tea break, good things will happen. This I promise. Okay, sure, whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> Gosh, Professor, what do you think? How much good can we really do with just a cup of tea? Oh, a fair bit, Luke. A gentleman never underestimates the power of a hot cup of tea. Well, when you put it like that, I suppose it couldn't hurt to spread some happiness. Alrighty then. Hi there. Okay, it's just a puzzle. Good. Golly, you two sure are running around a lot. Makes me tired just watching you. <laughs> Why don't you rest a while with this puzzle I've got here? Okay. Number 89. Flower beds fun. Okay. Here are four circular beds, each with a radius of 10 meters. The way they're arranged forms a space between them. You find the area in meters squared of the section of the section colored red below. Ignore the width of the border around the flower beds when calculating your answer. This isn't fun. God. <laughs> this isn't This isn't flower fun. <laughs> this is This is flower math. God. Not even clever, but whatever. It's fine. Also notifications borked again. Damn. I saw the thing, but it was like, oof. It just didn't wanna, didn't wanna work properly that time. What's the deal? Uh, let me, let me see though. Uh, I'll, I'll check in with that later. I don't know. I'll fix things up when I feel like it. I don't care. I was like, hey, you think I can do square meters? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. It's easy, but not the eight-year-old now. Okay, fair enough. All right. Is it like just the? Ra Am I overthinking it? Is it just the radius? Is it just ten meters? <laughs> I have a feeling that could. I feel. I feel like that could be it. I feel like that could be it. I'm. I'm just. I'm just not. In the, I'm not. In the, I'm not in the headspace to do actual math right now. I. I ah. Maybe this wasn't the right day to choose late in the stream, but whatever, it's fine. But it's squared, it's squared, it's gotta be, it's gotta be squared, so I don't think it's just 10. I think it's gotta be like something else. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, looks like it, I don't know. Sure as hell looks like it. My brain is like, it's got a gap. There's just like a big old gap in there. Hold up. circle four okay the radius of the one is the 10 meter but it also that looks like the same size it looks like the exact same size I don't know <laughs> but it needs to be squared so I can't just mm, mm, I, yeah I can't just do the thing Of 
10 is the radius, and that means 20 is the diameter. I'm not sure if I need that, but that sure is there. Okay. How much I hate math, and I remember how long it took me to solve those puzzles to get. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Each point. Uh, what's going on? Uh, is it like. Wait. Is it like, is it like you gotta, well it's, it's a bit big, it's a bit big, but I realize like with the things it's sort of like the edges of a, wait, wait, so if it's like that, boop, boop, it's like boop, and boop, so that means 20. So does that mean like each one is like 20 inches? And does that mean? God, if I remember my math equations, this would be a little bit like this would be a little less tough on me if I if I remembered if I remembered the the math stuff that I learned back in the days before I entered college, and I was like, I don't need to remember math anymore. I, I'm I'm gonna be a freaking film student. I don't care. <laughs> You don't need math? Okay. You don't need math equations, I should clarify. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's like, I can see it. There's sort of like a... There, there is sort of a square thing... Uh, eh, around. <laughs> around? Somewhere? <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not good with words. I'm not good with math. Is there anything I am good with tonight? No. <laughs> but, that's okay. Video editing, I guess. <laughs> Alright. So like, if there's a circle inside of if I'm if I'm if I'm still going with my circle square thing. And the radius is still 10. 20. Yeah, wait, no, that would be, that would be a... Hmm. Yeah, thing is, like... The thing is, like, I, I, I also just need to remember, it's also, yeah, it's like all of God. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, just, just remember. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Look, I know it's simple. I know the answer is probably pretty simple, but this one's optional. I can come back to this when we, like, do clean up later. I... I, I just don't think my brain's in the right space right now. It's fine. It's fine. We all have those days, and I'm just gonna leave it for- I'm gonna leave this one for later. I- I don't- I, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so, geez, you turned out to be- maybe I should go elsewhere for my puzzle solving. <laughs> well, damn, he- he just- wow. Okay. Asshole. Fine. You know what? Maybe- maybe I will solve your puzzle. Okay. Okay. Is that a challenge? Dancing around the answer because you don't want to commit? Okay. Hmm. Is it... 
Well, then I'm gonna assume I'm on the right track with my square circle thing. And... like 10, 20, then multiply that. How you get square mirrors in two lines? Right. Right. Well, that 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 is that that is that that is the way. I was once again going to go down the Pythagorean rabbit hole, but then I remember that's a that's a squared plus b squared, which implies that things would be squared off the bat, which they are not. So yeah, I and you and you already said that no, no no formula thing. You just gotta you you just gotta be in the know to know, you know. <laughs> God. Okay. Wait. There, there, there's, there, there, there's, there's no proper way to solve it. You just gotta be in the know to know, you know. <laughs> Ugh, God, that sure is. How do, uh, that sure is how you do it. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Really, the only thing I can get at is like with the square, like with this, with, with this dumb square theory or whatever I have. It's like the one side is twenty because of like the diameter of the thing also being twenty, and like the side here is also twenty. And I'm like, if I multiply those, I get like a number, but it's not like squared. So I just ah. It's like, it's like there's this gap. It's like there's this tiny little, like, it's like there's this tiny little hole drilled into this, like, one specific spot in my brain that is keeping me from, like, I have the two parts, but this one little specific piece of my brain has been, like, drilled out so that I can't get the answer. 20 times 20 is just 20 squared. Yeah, it's not, yeah. Yeah, that's not a square meter thing, that's just more meters. So, hmm. I gotta, I gotta think a little more then. Uh, hmm. I'm not gonna fucking click on the hints, cause the hint is just gonna tell me you don't need any like sort of fancy schmancy pants algebra thingies to, to, to solve this. You want the answer in me? Yeah, exactly. I want the answer in square meters, so it's like... I can't just multiply the two sides because it's not squared, it's just... So if your theory is correct, the answer is 20, no need to... Yeah, but that that seems too easy. That seems too easy. The the, 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 the There's always a twist. So, I mean, I, 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 I could just put 20. I, I, I could. <laughs> But it'll be wrong. <laughs> Consider this puzzle solved. Yeah. Well, I suppose that's one possible. Oh, and hey, would you look at that? It says the exact thing I just said, huh? <laughs> God. Okay. Hmm. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Twenty plus twenty plus twenty plus twenty. What's the what? How, okay, wait. How do I calculate the area of a square? 
I need to remember this. I just, I just need to remember, because I haven't used these equations in forever. A equals A squared. Hmm. So would it be like 400 then? Because like... How to calculate the area of like a square type place is like to just take one side of the thing and square it. So would the answer be 400? I, I think maybe that that would be the case. I can try that, but I doubt it. That, mm, because there's also like, there's also like the, like, it's not just the circle thing. It's also, yeah, well, actually, wait, no, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about this all wrong. Right, because that would be extra space. And that would be like, yeah, if you, Put, place it all in one place, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, like, for a second, I, my whole square theory was just for naught, but no, 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 no. If you add the piece together, maybe, maybe, maybe. Hit, 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 the, hit, this play that fucking track, track. Layton. Okay, but now explain it to, now explain to me how I'm actually supposed to do it. Nice job. The red section has an area of 400 square meters. If you quarter the space between the flower beds and fit the pieces to the circle, shown in the diagram. Okay, yeah, I did that with my whole square thing, I suppose. You can turn the circle into a square. Once you do the sides of the square of the same length as diameter, 20 meters, square this number to, oh, okay. Just, just, okay, just jump right to that. Okay. I suppose then I, I guess I, I was doing the right thing, I, I, I guess, okay, sure. We showed this asshole, and that's the then that that's the important thing. Golly, you ran through that puzzle so fast, it made my head spin. You're just one of those people who does everything, huh? I get tired just thinking about it. Got the ingredient pepper cherry. Okay, bye. We all have our lapses. It's fine. Professor, I just see Inspector Chelmy over there. No need for alarm, Luke. He's likely just gathering information about Dr. Schrader's case. Seems he's finally worked out that the key to solving it lies here in full sense. <laughs> Maybe the inspector's almost got a grip of the situation for once. So let me confirm. This here is the man you've witnessed asking around about the Elysian box. No doubt about it. Uh, yep, the man in the photograph is the one. I'd remember that face anywhere. Mm, well, that seals the deal. Just as I suspected, my instincts are never wrong. Come along now, Barton. We're moving on. Hmm. Oh, yes, sir. Right behind you, sir. Yeah, it's a little weird, but like, I, I, I don't know why. I sort of had a feeling it, it just wasn't gonna be twenty because that's too easy. But it's also like, that's what the thing leads you to believe. So it's a little bit. It, it's an odd one. It's an odd one. I don't know. Yeah, sorry, sir, but I can't let you in like that. We got a dress code, see? Now, if you'd be so kind as to hand me your hat. Very well, you're saying that we can enter if I give you this hat. Oh, boy. Since Felix has requested that you hand over a hat, and you find another hat buried in the pattern below. The hat you're looking for will be the same shape and size as the black one shown below, but may not be facing the same direction as the example hat. Use the styles to outline your answer and touch submit. Okay, it's another one of these. Just... You gotta have a trained eye, right? Okay. Hmm. Last thing you give the answer, Amir, but you gotta type it in Samir. It's yeah, I guess. It's kind of like that, yeah. Hmm. Where? I kind of see one like right here, but then it's that's sort of missing the edge. It's sort of missing the other edge, unfortunately. Uh. Huh. Actually, wait, wait, no, wait, hold on, wait. Ah. Right there. That 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 is it. I can't. It looks kind of the same. But also, is there another one? around that might be a better well there's this there's this but that's a bigger that's a bigger size and not quite 
Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. It se it seems the right it, it, it seems the right size. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. I see plenty of hats with no brim. Yeah. But luckily there is a hat with brim a right a here. And there we have it. Sneaky. Good job spying that hidden hat. Now a Professor has a hat to give to Felix. Okay, but how does this how does this work in, in the Okay. There we are. As requested, I provided you with a hat. Huh? Professor, I don't think that's quite what he meant. Be that as it may, I'm not taking this hat off. <laughs> Let's go, Luke. <laughs> I was really looking forward to dropping in for a snack. Takes a very special occasion for this hat to come off. That's all I have to say on the matter. Yeah, uh, very special occasion indeed. Oh boy, we'll get to that. Perry, shut up, shut up, please. <laughs> I think this is too deep for me. You got another house. Hmm. Maybe we can get Hammy Boy to a new benchmark if uh, we just have one more thing. All right, let's look in here. Have a look at these photos of the town, Luke. Whoever took them has a fine eye for detail. If you look closely, you can see that the puzzles aren't the pictures aren't quite in chronological order. I'm on that puzzle rot now. Oh God. You think you can work out the order in which the picture should be displayed? And another one! Another one! I mean, to be fair, to be fair, the name of the game is puzzle solving, but... This, this is getting... that's a lot in a row. Okay. Four photographs decorate the wall of Joseph's food photo studio. Each photo depicts the same area and was taken at the exact same time of day. However, each photo was taken at a different point in time. If you look carefully, you can work out the order in which these pictures were taken. Enter your answer using the letters attached to each, each picture, starting with the earliest, like so. A, B, C, D. Okay. Uh, hmm. Alright, let me... Let me get my notepad out. Yep. Hmm. What do I see? I see that this light isn't on. So this is either the latest or the earliest. One or four. And that all depends on what I can find in the other ones. Because that's the only one with that light off. The other three have it on, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So one or four. We gotta figure out two and three before we can start getting into things. Uh, hmm. Oh, the A is blacked out on that one. Which means that would probably be later in the day, so. Hmm. Because there's no reason it would power off earlier. The answer is time isn't real, Luke. <laughs> but, Professor. <laughs> I fucking can't. Okay. Uh, so this one's probably the last one, actually. Which means this one would probably be the first one. Yeah, yeah, okay. One, four. Now I need to figure out which one's two and which one's three. So the light comes on in these two. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna assume this right here is like a graphical glitch and not like something I need to pay attention to because that is very tiny. There's a very tiny difference between the two. But also this is here and that's here. So maybe I do need to pay attention to that. I don't know. It's just, it's such a tiny little like pixel. Okay, yeah, no, 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 yeah. No, that's definitely, that's definitely in there. It's just that the memo made it look like it was, okay. So that's definitely there, but what is that? What is that? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, wait a second. This has a different door as well. That's weird. Oh, it's broken. Oh, it's supposed to be broken. I thought that was like a chair pulled up for some reason because it's like a restaurant. I don't know <laughs> what's with my brain today, which means that would probably be right before that then. Which leaves that one as two then? So would the answer be C, D, B, A? 
Oh, thank you for- thank you for picking up on that. And yet you couldn't do that! Okay. Oh my god. Okay, there. There. I am so perplexed how this thing was able to pick this up as a C, and yet couldn't get a capital D right. That is wild. Just leave it to me! We've done it! That was almost The too puzzle easy. is gone! Good eye, the correct order is C, D, B, A, and C. The light had yet to be installed, but in D, the light had been built. In B, there's a new building in the background, and the restaurant's window is broken. Finally, in A, the broken window is patched up, and some of the lights have been burned out. Once more, the door of the photo studio has been painted a different color. Yep. Big W. Ah, ah, my back. Oh, there we are. If these photos are any indication, Full Sense has had quite a rich and lengthy history. Cool! With enough of these pictures, I bet you could see exactly how the town developed. You bring up an interesting point, Luke. If these photos are that old, why do they look so new? Had you mention it, I suppose they do look quite new. Photographs this old normally show some signs of deterioration. I wonder what method this studio uses to keep these photos so immaculate. You got a cog-filled part. Use it to rebuild the camera in the professor's truck. Okie okay, dokie, man. Oh, hi. Now that is a hat to rival the professor's. I'll get with you in a minute. I'm looking for I'm looking for coins. Why am I so bad at looking for coins? <laughs> I feel like I click everywhere except where the coins actually are. Yeah, whatever, fuck it. Hey! My, these photos look stunningly new for their age. How do you manage that? I'm flattered, but really I take no special measures in that regard. Oh damn, alright, well. I was just leaving, don't mind me. Oh, I assume that is the wanting tea uh, note of then, because Stash and Scarfin had a very similar thing and he gave us our tea tutorial. And I'm good though, like I said. Don't don't need to do tea for everybody. It's an optional thingy. So, a minute please. Oh, hello there. You're the fellow who's always with Inspector Chelmy, yes? My name's Parton, sir. I am a constable serving under Inspector Chelmy, sir. I feel obliged to let you know you may want to reconsider going up, going up this way with the boy. Why? What's up ahead? Things best left unknown until you're older, lad. My advice is to do an about face and leave the area. I don't think he'll budge on this, Luke. We'll have to find another path leading up to that way. Oh, okay, so that was just, that's just dead end. Okay. Well, for now. Might open up later. When they leave. Boing! There we go. Oh, hi. He doesn't appear to be in a very good mood, Luke. Let me see if I can find out what the problem is. Hmm. Uh, hey there, fella. <laughs> I can't do dog. I can't do a. I can't do a convincing dog. I am sorry. <laughs> ah! Good heavens, Luke, are you hurt? I don't think he's in the mood for conversation right now. Indeed. Let us find another way through town. Passing through here seems rather difficult. All right. Well, one way is blocked up by Chelmy, the other way is blocked up by a angry dog. So let's go this way then. Boink. The museum must be around here somewhere. Let's have a closer look at that gate, shall we? I wanted to explore a little bit first, but okay. Sure. Anything else I should be on the lookout for? Museum. The gate's shut tight. It must be closed. I was hoping we'd find some useful information inside, but there's no sense in standing around waiting. For the time being, let's continue our investigation elsewhere. Professor and Luke decided to search for the town for more information. Okay, let's go. Let's go around town. Oh, more tea? More tea? No thanks, I'm good. I'm good, mate. Oh, what is this? Oh, Mr. Beluga, it's been ages. I haven't seen you in a... I haven't seen you in donkeys. Did you find that thing in the end? <laughs> I wish. I told Sam to track it down, but that boy's as useful as a chocolate frying pan. Oh, don't fret like that, love. You'll get wrinkles in that distinguished brow of yours. Yes, the, uh... The Goomba brow. <laughs> hey up there, Mr. B-Duck. 
How about coming inside for a catch-up? Professor, did you see that? Mr. Beluga just went into that cabaret. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Okay. Sure, why not? Oh, hello, love. You must be a tall, dark, and handsome stranger. My horoscope's been promising. You're coming in to see the show, aren't you, Ducky? I apologize, madam, but we're in the middle of... Hey, you aren't going all shy on me, are you? I can see you blushing under that big hat. Oh, who's your little friend there? He's a right strapping lad, isn't he? Aren't you, love? Me? Uh... Sorry to change the subject, but I couldn't help but notice Mr. Beluga entering your cabaret. Oh, what a Mr. Beast friends are you? My innocent ass didn't get my job when I was young. Oh, don't worry. I think this flew over my head when I was young as well. Oh. <laughs> Something like that, yes. Tell me, does Mr. Beluga visit here often? Well, you could certainly call him a patron of the arts, love. But I'm not one to go chatting about the customers or just any old charmer who walks past. Oh, but you are a handsome devil, aren't you? Charming, dapper, and such a gentleman. Show me you've got some brains behind that pretty face and I might get a bit indiscreet. Yes, of course, respect. It's just... Yes, of course, respect. It's just... You know, you don't expect to see... You, you don't expect to see one in a Layton game, is all. <laughs> I have this old necklace that's not really to my taste anymore. I decided to sell it, but when I was getting it valued the other day, I realized something strange. Each stone is worth a different amount, but there's a way for me to break the necklace up, and the three smaller ones are all worth the same total. Can you work out where to make the cuts? Okay. Hmm... Boop. I don't know. Uh, let's just work around with different things. Okay. That would be 1,300, 1,800, uh, 2,600. Nope, nope, already I can see. Nope, okay. Gotta. How many gems are there? Does it, did it say that? I have this whole necklace. It's not really to my taste. Not really, I guess I gotta count it myself. Got it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So yeah, we do want to break it up, I assume, into sets of four, but there are some that are far, far less worth than others, so... Hmm. Or maybe... That's a pretty hefty penny right there. Okay, that would be 1300... 1700, 2000, 2600. That would be 700, 1600, 2600. Oh, oh, wait, oh, baby. Oh, fuck. Did I? Did I, <laughs> I was just working around. I swear to God, I was just working around. I didn't, I didn't think I'd get it on the second try. Hold on. Let me double check that. No, no, there's no way. Okay. 1200, 1300, 1800, 2600. Okay. 1100, 1300, 1700, 2000, 2600, okay, 1000, 1700, 26000, okay, okay, okay. Consider this puzzle solved. Yeah, 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 let's go. Ooh, got him. Huh, wonderful. All right, that's right. Each strand of gems is worth 2600. Not bad. Not a bad wedge, I mean. <laughs> oh, brains and beauty. I hope you don't solve puzzles for all the girls. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's uh, that's just, that line is so fucking cheesy. <laughs> now then, Mr. V is definitely here looking for something, but I don't rightly know what. He can't be having much luck because he's a, had a right cob on whatever I've seen him lately. Well, can we go inside? No? Okay. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, hey, wait, Granny? Say, there's that shack again. Granny Realton's shack. Hmm. If we overlook puzzles along the course of our journey, we'll know where we can go, don't we? Okay, so yeah, she's just, she's here now. Okay. Hi, Grandma. What have I missed again? Oh, j just a few. Okay. Nothing much. Or she'll leave. No. <laughs> y'all gonna, y'all just gonna fucking kill me tonight. Okay. Anyway, 
I guess we can't follow Beluga into the cabaret, so let's go north. Do you see that watchtower, Professor? Something very suspicious about it, isn't there? Yep. I mean, every... Every Layton game has a tower, but we will go there momentarily. Who are you? It's not every day I see new faces. Are you visiting from out of town? Yes, in a way, but when I hear the sightsee, we're searching for an antique known as the Elysian Box. Have you heard of it? Uh, no, that's the first time I've heard of it. I wish I had some information for you. Oh, I just can't let our visitors to our great town go away empty-handed. Oh, here, it's not a key ring, but please take this puzzle of mine as a souvenir of full sense. Okay, the missing shape. Five shapes are arranged in a sequence, but the fourth shape is missing. Which is the four? Use the four visible shapes to determine which of A, B, or C should be inserted as the fourth shape of the sequence. Oh lord! You know what time it is. It's time for another goddamn 3D uh, space puzzle. Oh boy. I remember this one, actually. A little bit. Doesn't it have something to do with... If I'm remembering right, if I am remembering, isn't it like a matter of, like, all of the, uh... No, it can't, no, it can't be that all of them represent a different letter, because, A, these are, these would both be the, no, wait, no, those wouldn't be the same one, would they? Wait, no, that one's reversed. I thought, what, I, I think it was like, all of them were like a different letter or something. If I'm remembering right. But then, why is the first one just dead ass a cube? <laughs> uh, you know, it's it is it is fun coming back to these like years later and like remembering vague things, but not like being able to piece the whole thing together yourself. <laughs> uh, wait, let me wait. Hold on. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Wait. So that one would be seven. This one would be zero. But what makes what makes this one a one then? Is what I is it like the crease? I don't know. <laughs> This is another just theory of mine, but I mean, that is, that is very blatantly a four. That is very blatantly a four. So, maybe I'm on to something? Maybe it's just that it's a really thick one. <laughs> sure, let's fucking go for it. To test my <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay, so I was a bit off at first, but then I was like, hey, let me tilt my head 90 degrees counterclockwise. And it's like, oh, hey. <laughs> I still, I guess it is just a really thick one. The hidden numbers, the, the numbers hidden in each shape determine a sequence. When you turn each shape 90 degrees, okay, I'm sorry, I meant clockwise, I guess. A number becomes visible. In the case of B, turning it sideways reveals the number four. That's a clever one. I like that one. That's cute. Nice work there, fellows. I hate to burst your bubble, but if you lead, if you lead, if you... I hate to burst your bubble, but if your lead on the Cilician box led you here, you may be out of luck. See, many of the residents were full sense experts skedaddled a few years ago. It all started over a strange rumor that spread through a town like wildfire. Ah, so even if we are in the right place, there may be no one left to ask. Tell me, what was this rumor? Some silly thing about a curse. I'm not entirely sure what it was, to be honest, but I often find myself wondering where all those people who left full sense ended up. That's the question, isn't it? Uh, well, there, there's like four different pathways I can go on right now. What's up here? Oh, hey, the postman again. How you doing? I'll be with you in just a sec. Just clicking around for coins. I think there's only two per room, but I could be misremembering. Oh, hello, you do. Nice to see you again. Heading to the north side of town, are ya? Why? What's up there? Oh, nothing really. Just some old houses. Got letters from folks from Dropstone to deliver there. Are there people from Dropstone sending letters all the way out here? I was surprised at first too, but there's some sort of connection between Dropstone and this place. Well, I'm describing words, so I'll just leave it at that. Oops. And I've got the dash. Post can't be late. Mr. Postel, please wait a moment. Gosh, you didn't even look back once. Quite a perplexing individual, that one. But never mind. For now, we must focus on our investigation. 
Also, his name pun isn't- also, Parcel's name pun isn't lost on me, god. Th this series, I swear. Sometimes they just- <laughs> Do you see that watchtower, Professor? There's something- Okay! I get it, but I want to check other places first. Oh, hi! We got some, uh, fruits. We got some, uh, flowers. Can you eat it? <gasps> Not as bad as false hints, I guess. <laughs> Guys, this whole place is covered in garlic and it definitely smells like it. Blech. Yes, it's very pungent. It's a good thing I brought my handkerchief. My eyes are watering. My nose has just being in here. Yeah, finally, some customers. Come in, come in. It's been months since anyone came by. My, t my shop's been out of favor with the townspeople recently. I can see why. Or rather, I can smell why. Okay, my shop smells. So what? It's not for the good of my health, you know. It's for protection. I mean, garbage might call a bit of a vampire problem here in town, and garlic keeps them away, see? Vampires? Seriously? Do I look like I'm joking, boy? You see that castle over there, haven't you? That's where the vampire lives, at least. That's what people say. Oh, well, he worked as a florist before, huh? I don't think I knew that. Interesting. Huh. I'm not saying I believe the talk, but you can never be too prepared, you know? See that watchtower, Professor? There's something very suspicious, isn't there? <laughs> okay. We're going. Yeah! <coughs> that scared me silly, Professor. What's making that awful racket? I don't know, but I think it's coming from right above us. Quick look, up the stairs. <laughs> Two fun facts that mesh together. Damn. I, I used to think I don't have any allergies, but considering I fucking die whenever spring starts up, I, I'm pretty sure I have a pollen allergy that was just never diagnosed. <laughs> As well, it's just... <laughs> uh, there's a lot of things I'm not diagnosed for that I'm pretty sure I... <laughs> uh, but let's not get into that. I don't, I don't want to self-diagnose in the moment. We don't need the we don't need to stop the stream for me to self-diagnose myself with anything. Hello there, friend. Bah! Blasted vampires! Get off my property! Uh, are you all right, Mister? Huh? Who goes there? Wait, you don't need to tell me. I know vampire henchmen when I see them. Oh, wait a second! What are you talking about? We just heard a scream and came to investigate. Say what you will, Sonny, but it won't do you any good. I see through your vampire lies. You really want me to believe you're not vampires and you'll solve this puzzle and you'll do it quickly. Okay. Okay. In one quiet town, there's a tower that commands a view of the whole town. That you can see every building in town from that tower. Logic dictates that you should be able to see the top of the tower from any building in town. As you can see on the map shown below, however, there's one building in town from which you clearly have no chance of seeing the top of the tower, no matter which window you look out of. Can you find this building? <laughs> this guy's from the West Coast. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> uh, the one building. Uh... Game, I hate to break it to you. A trailer is not a building. <laughs> I am like fairly certain that's the answer, but wait, wait, no, no, it's a fucking, it's, is this a latent trademark trick question? Hold up. Since you can see every, every building in town from the tower, logic dictates that you can, that you can, that you should be able to see a top of the tower from any building in town. As you can see on the map shown below, however, there's one building in town from which you clearly have no chance of seeing a top of the tower, no matter which window you look, motherfucker. They never clarify. They don't clarify. It's a trick question. It's a trick question. Hmm. Let's see if this works. <laughs> I know your tricks, Layton. You can't fool me. Good thinking. From inside the tower, there's no way to see the top of it. You might be able to stick your neck out of a window and look up, but you still won't be able to see the top of it. Got him. 
Yeah, pretty good for a vampire. Unless you're not one of the bloodsuckers underlings after all. That's how it is, and listen to me when I tell you best keep away from the castle over yonder. Oh. Oh. It's, the, it's the nest of one of the most fearsome undead creatures around. The real uh, live vampire. A real live vampire, you say? Don't make me say it again. Sir, isn't it fucking isn't it fucking chilly up here? Put on a shirt. <laughs> Rumors have surfaced regarding a vampire said to live in the castle at the edge of town. Terrified by such talk, not a soul in full sense dares to go near the castle. Could a vampire actually be living up in Herzen Castle? Yo, is that castle? <laughs> I, I, I Dimitrescu. I, I I never know how to say it correctly, but oh, fucking hell. Well. We are getting to the castle. I don't know if we're finishing the game tonight or not, but we are getting especially close. Finding a lead out here is slow going, isn't it? Indeed. Perhaps our only real choice is to wait for the Hosen Museum to open. Dimitrescu? Okay. No, that's Bowser's castle. <laughs> Hi, Nuz. <laughs> Gosh, if that's the case, maybe we should revisit the museum. You never know, it might have opened up while we were away. You have a point, Luke. I hope the museum prov proves more useful to us than... This time, they did the last. The professor and Luke decide to pay another visit to the Arizona Museum. Ooh. Ooh, got him. I'm not giving you tea. You call this a vampire. <laughs> we weren't saying that you was silent for you, Nuz, but <laughs> I'm glad you said that. Fucking hell, that got me for some reason. Oh, but the woods over here. We can go. We can go check out the woods. <laughs> NZ. I see NZ, and I think New Zealand for some reason. <laughs> the place gives me a bad feeling. Who knows what could be lurking down that path? And what I can see is just an expanse of wilderness. Let's leave it be for now. Okay. Sure. Let's leave. Let's leave again. So many words I'm playing with takeaway vowels. <laughs> I don't want to be New Zealand. I don't know anything about. I I I don't know a fucking thing about it really. So it's, yeah, sure. Let's let's leave it at that before I step somewhere I don't know. Oh hey, well look at that. The gate's now open. Now we can go inside. Newsy Leaf. Oh, when you say it aloud, it sounds just like his username too. That's the worst part. <laughs> Or maybe the best part, depending on who you are. Hey, any coins in the fountain? That is like the one place I would expect there to be coins. They're having a rap battle. <laughs> anyway. Hmm? Luke, do you hear that? It sounds like the conductor and Mr. Beluga are rowing again. But I don't see a boat. <laughs> Nothing. You don't even have so much as a lead on it. I thought I told you to find it and find it fast. Uncle, you gotta cut me some slack. It's no piece of cake sneaking around with the fuzz on my tail. Plus, that professor dude from London has been out playing detective. Even a low profile takes it out of a guy, you know what I'm saying? Plus, my feet are killing me from all this running around. How about you let me take a break? Besides, if I get caught sneaking around like this... You always were a layabout, Samuel. Stop moaning and get back to the task at hand. Until you find that box and then I better not hear the word break coming out of your mouth. Gosh, Mr. Beluga really let him have it. Who you was the one who opened this gate? I'm not sure, though it appears that while the gate is open, the museum itself is still closed. Let's put this discussion aside for a moment. Tell me, Luke, do you recognize the symbol at our feet? Yo, it's the same goat, right? Yeah, it looks like it. This stone has been worn down over the years, but I've definitely seen this design before. Oh, it looks like the symbol on the book we found lying out in the street. That it does, but I'm certain I've seen something like this in another location too. But where? Ah, yes. Now I've got it. This shit's the goat. <laughs> what is it, Professor? We must locate Inspector Chelmy at once. I need to see that photo we acquired from the crime scene. Layton? The... Layton, you never saw that photo pieced together, I thought. I thought we always saw it in shreds. How did you remember, let alone... <laughs> Layton's got... God, now I know what's hidden under that hat. He's just got that massive fucking brain. 
But this town is so big! How are we going to track him down? Well, it's quite late now. He may have returned to the hotel for the night. What do you think? I think you're probably right. Quick, let's head back to the hotel! Professor and Luke decide to return to the hotel! <laughs> he's, just, he's just built different, yeah. That noggin is humongous. <laughs> it sure is. I assume I'm gonna be hit with it. We can't enter this area if we go to the place Fords. So let's let let us go back to the hotel. Yeah. Where is it? Nope, that's a camera shop. <laughs> Layton <Lemme, Lemme>, <laughs> limit 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 though. God. <laughs> oh hi, I didn't see you before. Hey, what's with the long face? It's not very grown up of you to sulk like that. Honestly, I can't stand to see you looking like that, so here's a little puzzle my friend told me. Okay. <laughs> He's totally built like Mega Mind. <laughs> How old am I? The difference between mum's age and dad's age is the same as my age. Oh, well, my big sister's twice my age, which happens to be one third my mum's age. And one more thing, in five years I'll be my sister. God, this again! This again! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Difference between difference between mom and dad is uh, the same as our child. Big sister is twice. Which happens to be one third of mum. And one more thing, in five years I'll be my sister's age. Okay, so plus five would also what would be Okay, so the thi I think I think I think the whole thing that is making this teeter at the moment is what is plus five that would also be times two to equal the same thing because the big sister's twice her age but you'll also be the age in five years wait 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 okay five times two would be ten yeah it might just be five that that seems that's that seems reasonable but also hmm that would mean that would mean the big sister is one third of mum, which would be uh that means the mom's thirty. And a five year gap between a mom and dad honestly isn't I I I you know that seems reasonable. I'd say you're five. This should do the trick. Hey! Got him. And there we have it. Good, okay. Hey, not bad. The girl's father is 35 and her mother is 30, meaning the difference in their age is the same as the girl's age, as she said. As for her big sister, she's 10. That's twice the age of the girl and a third of their mothers. In five years, the girl will be 10, which is her sister's age now. Kids these days grow up so quickly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, pretty good, smarty pants. So good, in fact, I think you deserve a reward. What kind of reward? The best kind. A story. Okay, here it goes. See, a long time ago, there was another family in town as rich as the Herzens. But one of the younger daughters got her heart broken by some boy and decided to leave town. It could just be a story somebody made up, but if it's real, that boy must have been a total loser. <laughs> God damn, fucking kill him, Joni. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, oh wait, no, not the hotel just yet. Let's help you out. Okay, I guess you don't have a puzzle for me. Fawcett used to be home to many families of noble birth. The Duke Herzen discovered a vast gold deposit on the outskirts of town, which changed everything. Fawcett's developed rapidly, but word of the gold brought in all sorts of unsavory types. It's such an awful shame. It used to be such an enchanting town. Okay. Tell me! Hey! Asshole! <laughs> Inspector, there's something I need to ask you. Can you spare just a moment? Ah, Leighton. I see you've been busy. I didn't think you managed to solve 50 puzzles so soon. Oh, hey. I hit the requirement too. How about that? Nice. Well, you've been very busy sniffing around town for clues. Tell me, is this such a you know, genuinely useful facts yet? Another missing dog, perhaps? Perhaps. Would you mind showing me the photo you recovered from the doctor's flat? Oh, I don't understand. There's a clue to be found in that photo. <laughs> well, so you've solved 50 puzzles already, so I can tell you're serious about the investigation. 
My top priority is solving this case, so if you think you can help, I might as well show you the thing. What the devil? Is something the matter, sir? There's a hole in my blasted pocket. Oh no! Aw oh, shit. I'm scattering the pieces about without even noticing. This... This is a low point in my career. Seems all that remains of this photo is this one scrap. You got a photo scrap there. Fifteen scraps left to be killed. Oh, God. Damn it, Tony. Doesn't look like we'll ever see that photo again. Perhaps not. Pieces were all still in my pocket when we entered Folsons. Of that much, I'm sure. Inspector, do you recall the path you took around town over the past couple of hours? Bits of it, yes. Hmm, let's see. Okay, Chami. Motherfucker. Chami's route. Use what the inspector remembers to find the path he took through town. I took a few turns, but only one at a junction that had a cafe in it. I also passed in front of one hat shop and one flower shop, too. And I didn't walk any farther than necessary. Now that you've heard his recollection, can you trace the route the inspector took through town? Maybe, but I need to hydrate first. Okay, so took a few turns, but on but only one at a junction that had a cafe at it. Okay, oh, one flap and one flower shop too. And I didn't walk any farther than necessary. Okay, so God, tell me, why couldn't you have just been more alert? I get, uh, okay. Oh, one flower shop too. Okay. Hmm. But only one at a junction that had a cafe at it. Okay. So I can only pass by one cafe if I'm doing my path. Okay. Which means basically, uh, not this because that's the second one right there. Damn it. Okay. Okay. Wait. That would be two. That would be, wait, no, only one turn at a junction that had a cafe on it, so I don't need to worry about this. I don't need to worry about this counting as two. That's fine. And then that would be two. Mm, okay, work it out, work it out, think about it. Uh, would this count as a flower shop? Uh, that's in the middle. That's in the middle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no. No, 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 no. Unless it's like di directly at a corner. Uh, hmm. Okay. And then, wait. So if we go down this way, that counts as another cafe, doesn't it? God. Dang it. Okay, not quite. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if we do it like this, it's a cafe and a flower shop. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Ah, uh, Perry, Perry, Perry. Think about it. One turn. Ah, uh, yes. He says he didn't walk any farther than necessary. Let's take the longest route humanly possible. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Wait. I also passed in front of one hat shop. I need to remember that too. I've only been thinking about the cafe and the flower thing. So this is one hat shop. And he does turn past the cafe and the flower. So maybe, maybe my little joke is right. Maybe. Cause like you got, you got, you got the fucking turn right here. You got the, boop. you got the, okay. So he goes there. So, so he goes that way. He passes by. He passes by a cafe, but he only takes one turn at one that has a cafe. And also, and also pass in front of one hat shop. Okay. And the flower shop. Oh, okay. So the fact that this isn't exactly on a corner is fine. He just passed it. He didn't. He didn't take make a turn at one. Okay. So this very well could be the answer then. Okay. Hey, let's try it. And now to test my theory. Nice. Okay. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. All right. 
That's right, you may have worked out the inspector's path through town, but the search for those photo scraps is just beginning. Oh boy. And then after leaving the northeast corner of town, I came straight back to the hotel. That should be enough information to get us started. Thank you. Come, Luke. Let's see if we can recover the pieces of that photo by retracing the inspector's steps. What's so important about that photo, Professor? I'm unsure of the photo's content, but I have every, I have every confidence that it will lead us to the Elysian box. Say no more, I'm sold! After all, your intuition never fails. Let's hurry to the northeast of town. We can get through that little path where that bulldog was sitting. Yes, let's. Here, I'll lead the way. Alright, let's go get that... Let's go get those photo scraps, because... The fucking force sucks at its job. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know why, just the fact that it does that for every chapter kills me. No matter how, like... No matter how, like, intense it actually is or not, it just goes... <laughs> hey, Barton. You got a puzzle? Keep this on the hats, but you know that hole in the inspector's pocket? A dog did that. A dog, officer? Which dog? Inspector Chilney had a, um, altercation with a canine by path to the northeast corner of town. Well, dogs can sniff out mean people, you know. That's just more proof he needs to be nicer. He may seem a bit prickly at times, but he's actually quite kind. I said that, the story I heard about him concerned one of his less friendly episodes. Oh boy. Okay, hit me. How many turns? Chelmy sent his squad to investigate an incident. Before leaving, he said this. I want you to search the entire area showing this map. Take any route you want, but you... But report on how many times you turn in the process. You're free to turn left or right, but you turns are strictly forbidden. The Bobbies completed their shift and returned to report their turns. Judging by the reports, though, it seems at least one man was loafing on the job. Touch the numbers you think are suspicious to mark them with an X. Okay, so... Key points here... The key points here is at least one, which means it could be more. And the fact that it says the numbers, you think, which means, yeah, definitely, definitely more than one. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, God. All right. You turn is truly forbidden. Hit me with a hint. Why not? If one of the policemen had said he had turned a total of 1,000 times during the course of the investigation, the inspector would have no reason to doubt that Bobby was telling the truth. Okay. <laughs> so does that mean? So does that mean that the highest numbers here are like totally fine? Does that mean they're fine? Okay, they are. Let, let's let's say let, let's say they're okay then. Let's say they're okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> I don't know. I, I might be making a leap here. That 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 seems like a leap, but you know, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> By that logic, where are they counting? I I wonder the number of turns they made because this guy this guy's a bit of a grumpy Gus. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, hold on. One. Okay, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20. Okay, wait, okay. There's a pattern here. There's a pattern here. I noticed that the odd numbers sort of leave you at a bit of a vertical line here. Meanwhile, the horizontals are uneven which means technically wouldn't it be in that that means it would be impossible for these two because th that's odd these are odd that's an odd number i can't have anything odd numbered <laughs> fucking hell there we go just had to just had to scope it out a little bit yeah huh 
Wonderful. There we go. Sharp thinking, the two men who took 105 and 113 turns must have been slacking off. Since the men started off on a horizontal path, you can infer that if they turned an odd number of times, they'd end up on a vertical path. Conversely, if they made an even number, they'd end up on a horizontal. Yeah, mm, big brain, I'm fucking ballin'. <laughs> okay, no, what? Oh, the gay cow, okay. Everybody knows there's way more gay cowboys than that. Do watch yourself out on the streets, there's no telling what's out there. Likewise, officer. Okie doke, we got a di- Oh, another diary key. That's good. Let's read. Father has always done what he wants, regardless of who may object. He's that way with everyone, even his sons. It's no wonder my younger brother always seems so irritated with him. Even so, he and I must endure father's whims because, as an excellent line to rule foe sense, we cannot leave this town, even if we want to. We are stewards of this town, and we must stay here to watch over it. Hmm, mysterious. I still don't know who the hell this 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 diary belongs to. Hammy boy, do you want do you want to work out in a minute? I'll I'll work out with you in a minute. But I want to see. Oh god damn it! <laughs> Welcome back, sirs. Uh, still busy with your investigation, I see. No, oh, lovely. Our town is quite vast, so take care and tie yourselves out. I'm sure your feet must be sore, so why not sit at the moment and enjoy this puzzle I prepared? You only know one, but who's to say there's not more out there? <laughs> Lucky you, you've inherited a five square plot of land that's rich in precious metals. Each chunk of copper ore has a value of one, each silver a value of three, and each gold a whopping value of five. You're allowed to pick five squares of land for yourself, but the five squares must be connected to each other. Squares diagonal to one another don't count as connected. Your task is to claim the most valuable five square plot possible. Can you do it? Hmm. Well, can I? <laughs> Do I know any more? Um, not off the top of my head, unfortunately. But you know. I'm always open to learn more. Okay, that would be one, two, okay, wait. Six, seven, eight, nine. That would be nine. Okay. Seven, two, three, four. I guess just for the sake of it, but that would be five, six, nine. Okay, those are both nine. That's also nine. Uh, five. That's ten. Hold on. Yeah, because that's five, six, seven, ten. Hell yeah. That's the only one that's not nine in this joint. I'll fucking take it. <laughs> no, but I think that probably is the that probably is the answer because like all the other ones are basically like yeah you know you got the threes and the one two three that's nine you got the yeah 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 it's gotta be it. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm Tell me I'm wrong. Like you can't. I'm right. <laughs> and there we have it. I am a wizard with my brain apparently. The plot of land displayed is the only one that achieves a value of 10, the highest value possible given the conditions of the puzzle. You're goddamn right. Well done, sir. You should begin to feel weary from running about town. Do stop in to rest. Periodic breaks can be quite refreshing for the mind and spirit, as well as the body. Oh, another diary key. Oh, hello. Give me that juice. No longer able to tolerate father's selfish ways, my younger brother has left folks and for good. Strangely enough, father doesn't seem affected by it at all. If anything, he seems only more confused. I mean, more focused. I don't know how I got confused out of that. He only seems more focused on excavating even more gold from the mine. Is that miserable ore worth so much to him? I'm beginning to think that I will never understand that man. Wow, you know, <laughs> kind of funny how that puzzle was also about gold. <laughs> anyway, hey, hammy boy, how you doing? Okay, you need, you need 24. Okay, so he can get to 18 from here, but one, two, and this is only three spaces away, so that would be 19, 20, 21. <clears throat> What's this one again? Dr. Hanford is within three spaces of it, though he likes apples even more. Okay, so one, two, three, right? Let's get our hammy boy in shape. Get it, buddy. Get it, hammy boy.
fuck it up! <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but it's fun. It's cute. You did it! Hammy Boy walked 24 steps. His level went from 2 to 1! Yeah! Sporty! Oh no, he doesn't he doesn't look quite right anymore. <laughs> he's, he's, he, he went from he went from fat fuck Friday to flat fuck Friday. Oh no. Although it's only Monday! <laughs> Dang it. Oh well. You're doing it for hit coins and for hammy boy. That's fair. Let's go find... Let's go find that bulldog from earlier. Hi, you. Bye, you. No, it's Hammy Boy. <laughs> yeah! That bulldog is blocking our path to the northeast corner. How to get through? Try talking to him again. Why not? <laughs> our friend the bulldog seems to have had a change in temperament since we last met. <laughs> He looks really hungry, Professor. We can let us pass if we bring him a snack. Very well. I seem to remember a grocer's beneath the watchtower. I'm sure we can find a suitable snack for our friend there. The Professor and Luke decide to visit the local grocers. It's not a dog, it's a cube. It also looks like it's wearing a diaper? <laughs> or maybe that's just the way its fur is spotted. But God, it looks like it. <laughs> Oh, I just saw- I just saw Hana saying the same thing. God. I am not on top of things tonight. <laughs> I need to keep my eye on chat. Anyway, hi, honey. Why does everyone make such a kerfuffle about warning people away from that castle? Even if you wanted to go, it's impossible to get up there. The forest gate is always locked. I take it that's the sole path to the castle, then. Hehe, <laughs> you actually want to go there, don't you? It's a weird and scary place, but I know the feeling. The gate only opens to let this old stagecoach through. If you hide in the bushes and wait for the coach, you might be able to sneak in behind it. So the gate does open. Do you know anything about this stagecoach? You've got me there. It heads up to the castle every day at about the same time. Maybe it delivers raw steaks and blood for the vampire's dinner. But really, I have no idea. Hey, all this talk of stagecoaches reminded me of this puzzle about horses. Alright. Give me the horse puzzle. Tug of war. Teams of horses are participating in a tug of war. All teams are drawn from an eight horse stable. The first three matches end in draws as shown. Bip, bip, bip. If you want the fourth match to result in a draw as well, which horses should be on the pulling teams against E and F? Touch a horse to add it to the team. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, D and A seem to go up against E and F with H is just fine. So I'm gonna say not either leave out A or D because if you put both, then it's gonna end up with uh, that side winning because they were able to get three of the fuckers, and that's just that's no good. Okay. Da, 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 da. Hmm. <clears throat> so A B C D E F G H. Or maybe it's H. That's the strong one. Maybe E and F are actually fine. Maybe, yeah, maybe they're fine on their own. Maybe I just leave out H. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll scratch out H for now. Okay, wait. H is going up against them, though. So, against G and A. Maybe, maybe take out G, then. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay, A, B, C, D. Okay, so A, B, C, D versus E, F, G, H. That was an even one. Yes, okay. Got, got ya. A, D, A versus F, A, G, A. I want the fourth match to result in draws. Well, which one should be on the. I'm gonna phone a friend! There's no need to do any complicated calculations. The same horses compete several times. Since the tie means the teams are equal, think about what might happen with different matchups. Yeah, I. 
It's always the first hint just giving me the fucking obvious. I just... Honestly, I should just look up the hints at this point. <laughs> but I have integrity. Except that one part where I didn't, but that was because I didn't want to, like, tear out a page from the manual trying to solve a puzzle. <laughs> say D is definitely gonna be in there because I don't see anything that would contradict D being like especially strong but maybe maybe leave A out yeah leave A out uh what's the deal with horses HBC versus GA uh I don't fucking... I don't know, mate. <laughs> I don't know, mate. I'll, I'll, I'll solve it later. Okay? Hey, what do all the trouble of telling you that puzzle? The least you could do is solve it. Yeah, bye. I have, I have a grocery store to go to. Oh, hi. <laughs> Maybe this one will be kinder to me. That shop is so smelly that I have to play out here or I pass out. That really, um, stinks. <laughs> you can really just put that in. You can really just put the Seinfeld look anywhere and it works. God. <laughs> it's okay. I brought some snacks with me in Nibelon, so at least I'm not bored. Here, let's share them. Okay. Sweets for five. Okay, if you have a box of you have a box of four different kinds of sweets arranged in no particular order, your job is to divide these treats into five equal portions. To do so, you need to make sure each portion contains the exact same number and variety of sweets. Oh, okay. I can do this one. I can do this one. Because there was a very similar puzzle in Curious Village. Okay. Boop ba ba doo. Okay, four kinds. Well, first of all. <laughs> Okay. Wait, no. <laughs> Wait, no, it's not, it's not that easy. Is this a math problem? I thought the I thought the horse was a math problem. This seems a lot more tame to me. Uh wait, wait, wait. Uh uh this one's this one actually seems solvable with my current uh, mashed potato brain, as I'm going to dub it. Uh, super do. All right, I'll be the. All right, 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 right. Okay, wait. <laughs> this is just <laughs> sweet Sudoku. Is it? Is it though? <laughs> I mean, it might be. I don't know. I haven't played Sudoku in a dog's age. So, eh. What if you make it just one single box or a single greedy fuck? Okay, maybe. Hmm. Five equal portions. Same exact number. Wait! Wait, five equal portions, but there's one, two, three, four, five, 25, so you can have doubles. I've been thinking about this wrong. Idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. That one's on me. So there's a reason there's more of these than the others, right? Like I said, mashed potato brain over here. I'm, I'm doing my best. Oh, well, I'm an idiot too. That's not Sudoku. <laughs> Okay, so let's try and go for five each then. Hmm. No, that won't work. That won't work. That, that, that will not work. Zoom that one back the fuck out. Hmm. Wait. Yeah. There, now it's the same. Now it's art. Wait. Hey! See, it's a lot easier when you have your headspace in the right. Space, space. Hmm. I don't fucking Let's know, man. 
I don't fucking know, man. I'm yeah, here for the. I'm here for the fun. I'm here for the. Uh, I, I'm here for the funny hat men solving mysteries. <laughs> Although the puzzles are also fun. The solution is shown above. Now remember, the sweets are for everyone, so don't forget to share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Here, take some. Yeah, it's all divided up now. Here's some for you. Wow, thanks a lot. <laughs> These taste like raw garlic. Oopsie, all the garlic in the shop must have made the snacks all weird. I'll have to throw them out. Damn. <gasps> Hemi boy. <laughs> what is wrong with me tonight? God. <laughs> I am all over the place. Anyway, buddy, give me your... Oh, god damn it. Hello there, gents. I forgot, I forgot the voice I did for him already. I'll, I'll try and think of a different one. Hello there, gents. How can I help you today? We're in desperate need of food for a hungry dog. Do you have anything that fits the bill? Eh, well, that's the most interesting request I've heard all day. I don't have anything in a tin, but this leftover beef shank will make Rover sit up and beg. That should do nicely. Will you be willing to part with it? Of course, I just hope your dog likes garlic. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Good, good. Now, I won't charge a penny, but just to solve this puzzle I've got here. I've been mulling over it for days, and I'm starting to lose sleep. Alright, fair. Hey! If that means it's free, sure. Sure, I'll do it for you. Sealing off the smell. Garlic is a wonderful seasoning when used in moderation, but the smell can be pretty potent. Someone put garlic cloves in this intricate container, and they're really stinking up the room. Use the two corks below to help our friends deal with the smell. Touch the screen, the place you want to put the corks. Your answer must use no more than two corks. Well, that's good because there's only two. Uh, okay. Boop. It's a funny one. Oh boy. Oh, oh no, wait, no. Let me guess. All of me trying to solve things is for nothing, and I should just plug the fucking middle one. <laughs> Hmm. Wait a fucking second, I remember this one too. <laughs> I, just, I just I dipped out wait. <laughs> okay, that's a good that's a good trick question. That 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 is the that is the good trick question. Catriel needed more of these in her game. <laughs> I just remember I, I, I remember it as soon as I thought on the phrase funny one <laughs> Ah sweet relief each of the three holes in the container is connected to the garlic So there's no real way to seal off the container using only two corks with no way to contain the smell Our friend had no choice but to plug up his nostrils. Hopefully he had the good sense to stay inside where no one can see him like that <laughs> His breathing rights have been revoked. That one's a good one y'all are <laughs> Ah Gonna be a real garlic lover like me to solve that one. Here, you want this beef shank? So it's all yours. Yo, the beef shank! We got it! And a clover for the tea, but we're not we're not doing the tea minigame. Cause the cause, cause the tea minigame sucks ass. No, fuck your tea. I don't wanna help you. I got everything that I need right here. His breathing rights are still revoked. Yeah, I guess, but like. Oh, hi, you weren't here before. Uh. Can I help you? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, you're gonna wear your souls out if you keep running around like that, fellas. Rest your feet for a minute while you solve this puzzle of mine. Okay. I'll bite a stack of dice. You stack three dice in a column at the points of where two dice touch. The faces are, that are touching add up to five. If one visible face in the bottom die is showing a one, what number must the top face of the die be? Each die is identical and all sets of opposing die, I mean all sets of opposing faces on each die add up to seven, just like any other die. Okay. Each die is identical and all sets of opposing faces. Oh, I, I actually didn't, oh. I didn't know, oh, I didn't know that. Neat, neat, Leighton giving me a new little, 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 uh, 
little, I, I, I mean, I, I, I guess it was one of those internal things that I just never really thought about. That's neat, that's neat, huh, okay. I don't use dice that much, so I'm, I'm kind of like, huh, okay. Hmm. All right, so I, oh yeah, once again, this is a visualizing thing. So that means that the five is on the opposite side over here. So that rules that out. Hmm. Wait, no, I mean six. I meant six, fuck. <laughs> I'm not that dumb, I swear. <laughs> My brain's not gone yet. <laughs> no, don't take me away. <laughs> Holy shit, that's embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> God. Okay. Uh. Hmm. How many am I looking for again? Wait. Oh. Yeah, the one on the top. Okay. Okay, so I don't know why. So that'd be sick. If I had like a real dice, if I had a real dice lying around, this would be way easier. This would be way easier. Okay, let me. I'm gonna look up a 3D model of a dice. <laughs> 3D dice. Okay. Let's see. I'm the nearest one in Discord. I, I'll be fine. Thank you for the offer. Um, okay, so. It could be four. It could be four right here. But, wait, okay. Literally got in hand. <laughs> well, I guess. I guess if you. I, I guess if you got it right there, then sure. Okay, so wait. Okay, so on the opposite ends of one. Everything but six, basically. So one, six are off the table, so it could be two, three, four, and five. Okay. It's transparent. Aw, nice. But maybe not nice for photo taken. <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. All opposing sides add up to seven. Okay. So. Hmm. Gabe die. <laughs> Gabe dice, yeah. Hmm. I have a feeling about this one. I know I can do it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Do you die dice or is dice the plural? Dice, I'm pretty sure, is the plural. Die is the singular. <laughs> which I find which I which I find kinda of funny, but yeah, it's uh eh. No, wait, die, yeah, die with a Y is painting something. Die with an I is a singular dice. I don't fucking know. D Listen, if you ask me to explain my native language, I will have a breakdown on stream. <laughs> Not really, but God, it feels like it sometimes. I hate English. myself and I want to die. <laughs> ah, I feel ya. I feel ya. This, this, this puzzle is making me want to die. Hmm. hmm so, let me let, let's see here. Poo okay. Hmm, okay, okay. Thank you, okay. Uh, so, on the opposite of one is six, okay. Uh, yep, the opposite of... The opposite of four would be three. Okay, so four to three, one to six, and by definition that would be two to five left over. Okay, that helps. Thank you for the picks, that helped actually, that helped quite a bit. Okay, now let's solve this son of a bitch, okay. So, okay, wait, now let me let me pull up the picture one more time. All right. <laughs> oh, but the thing is, the other two could be in any orientation. That's the problem. But I only really need to worry about the top and bottom, don't I? Okay, okay. 
brain work get your get your logic gears turning Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure I only have to think about the top and the bottom. So that's the thing. Hmm. I've got plenty of dice assistance, but I appre again, I appreciate the offer. Uh, okay. You know what? Let's assume. Let's assume six is at the top. Like, I'm gonna place numbers in and see if I can work it from there. That means on the opposite side it would be one. Now, in order to equal one, I mean, now in order for that to equal five, you'd need to put four. But wait. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. So that combination is four, but on the other end of four would be three, plus two would equal five. Is Two on the is two on a side. I think two is on a side neighboring one. Yeah, yeah. It could be six. Hit me with it, Layton. <laughs> Again, you can't get an uppercase. You cannot get an uppercase D. Yet, you can tell that this is a six. Okay. Consider this puzzle solved. Hey. Huh. Now show me that my work now 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 please Layton tell me that all of my working it out is completely in vain <laughs> That's right since you know the sort of sum of each set of opposing faces is seven You can easily narrow down the possibilities with a little smart thinking as detailed above you'll soon arrive at the answer six. Oh Okay, no, no, this is about this is about the same way I worked it out except a little sloppier and with more brain thinking instead of writing thinking but you know, okay, cool. All right. Yeah, you're no slouch at this. So what's the story? What do you think you're gonna find here in full sense? Ah, I don't mean to sound ominous, but yeah, some truth's best left buried. You get me? You got another wall for the hamster, the Mario block. Oh yeah. Anyway, hey, hey, dog. Here's our chance, Luke. Throw him the beef shank. I'm already on it. Here goes. Aww. Yeah, no, that is definitely a fucking diaper. <laughs> I think our little offering did the trick. I don't think this doggy's going to be doing any snarling anytime soon. We can finally explore the rest of town now. Professor and Luke decide to begin their search for photo scraps in the alley. Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh, there's one. Say, Professor, could that be... Piece of the photograph? I'd say so. Sharp eyes, Luke. I'll place it in my trunk for safekeeping. Fourteen left! Fourteen left! We'll find them. In due time, we will find them. Give me some coins. Hell yeah, hint coin. Give me one here. Hell yeah, hint coin. Hell yeah, puzzle! I don't like to brag, but I make the best pancakes you've ever tasted, guaranteed. Things while the flavors out of this world have the trouble getting the size to be consistent. Shoving them can be such a pain because you need to stack them just so. Oh, it's a sequel puzzle. Okay. Hell yeah. Alright, here's a tasty puzzle for you. Can you move the pile of pancakes to the blue plate on the left to the red one on the right? It's not as easy as it sounds. You can only move one at a time, and you cannot place a pancake on top of another one that's smaller than itself. I can do that just fine. What do you take me for? Wait. <laughs> what do you take me for? Oh god, wait, no. This one's easy. Uh, I say after uh, completely fucking it up. Uh, wait, wait, oh, no, wait. I, hold on. Hold on, wait, no, I got it. Okay, that one's definitely the biggest, but. Yeah, no, I got it. Easy. This should do the trick. I love the easy ones. A true gentleman <laughs> leaves no puzzle unsolved. An extra pancake for those who solve this puzzle in only 15 moves. Damn. No pancake for me. 
how your hands move so fast there. It looks like you were juggling those pancakes. Next time I grease up my pan, you're welcome to as many as you can eat. You got another. Yo, is that a pool or is that like a funny button? I kind of want to know, but in the same sentiment, I kind of just want to move on and get the uh, picture. You see that piece of the photograph over there? I do. Great, Professor. Hope it hasn't gotten all soggy from lying on the ground out there. Don't worry, Luke. It looks more or less intact. The funny button. <laughs> I might as well check, see if it's funny button or not. Oh, hi. You again. Oh, it's you too. Hey, I know you. You're Mr. Anderson's daughter. Yes, uh, my name is Katia. What brings you to full sense? I'm sorry, but I can't really talk about it. Excuse me, I have to get back to my search. Uh, goodbye. Oh, Katia, wait a minute. What are you looking for? Ah. Wow, she moves fast. So Katia's had the full sense all along, just as we were. Luke, I believe we've uncovered the identity of the third party asking around about the Elysian box. So Katya's looking for the Elysian box as well? It seems to be the only possibility, yes. Well, I mean, there, 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 there could be somebody else we don't know about. Like, there could be... It, it, it could be Gerald over there. I don't know. There's nobody named Gerald in this game. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> I see a piece of the photograph over there. Nicely done, Luke. I'll just turn this away so we don't lose it. Okay, do Uh, no scrap over there. Gerald. Oops. I don't know. I was thinking up a funny. I was thinking up a funny name off the top of my head, and for some reason, my brain went to Gerald. Oh, there's another one. Oh, is that a? No, it's not a coin. You have a puzzle. I know it. Or not. Hi. We are four cents to Gilded Town. Oh, hi. That's what they used to call this place when I was a little one. I used to work down in the mine that gave the town its nickname. See, well, I did till they closed it down a few years ago, isn't it? Even now, I sometimes catch crooks sneaking down into the mine to see if anything's down there. You must come back with nothing, though. Count on that, boy -o. We've certainly heard rumors of the great fortune Duke Herzen left behind. Ah, you're a treasure hunter too, boy -o. In that case, take it from me. The real money's not in that mine, it's in the Duke's castle, isn't it? You might have a bit of trouble getting in. Mine, considering there's a vampire living up there. Alright, enough motor it. I'll get back to working out what this scrap of paper by here is. I know! Oh, it's a scrap of the photo, and we've been looking all over for it. Oh, so this thing's yours, is it? We well, haven't got no use for it, so you better take it, isn't it? What a nice chap. Most people would tell us to solve a puzzle in order to get that, but this dude just this dude just gave it to us out of the kindness of his heart. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. Wait. <laughs> What's with the menacing accordion in here? <laughs> Hey, there's another scrap of the photo. Looks like the Chomi certainly got around. This is just a nondescript house. <laughs> oh. Wow, this place sure has some unusual art. I don't even know what to make of this picture. Hmm? Which picture are you talking about? This one here. Are these weird shapes some kind of code? Seems like you've stumbled on a puzzle. Look here. All right, perplexing figures. A series of figures are arranged and numbered as shown below. As you can see, the figure that should go in space one is missing. Can you draw the figure that belongs in this space? Slide the styles over the guidelines to draw the figure. Okay. You're not gonna give me anything besides the fact that I guess it has to be in this sort of guideline. Well, I've been getting plenty of hint coins lately, so uh, here, take one on me. Focus on the right half of the figures, two to six. Okay. Mm. Wait, is it? Is this like a digital, is it supposed to be like a digital clock sort of thing? Maybe. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. That's what, that's what my, that's what my mind goes to first. When I see this sort of segmented line type thing. That's what, that's what I see. I'm not sure, like, where I'm supposed to go from there, though. All I have is that. So it's like, eh. Hmm. <laughs> not sure. Or 
wait, wait, hold on. It said focus on the right half. So like, what? What you mean like, wait. Now wait just one second. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. I was on the right track, kind of. Okay. All right. So that means the next one is probably uh, something like something, you know, you know, something like this. Just leave it to me. Easy. Legends <laughs> back. Oh my back. Oh god. The peculiar sequence is actually the first six letters of the alphabet. Yep. Gotcha. The, 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 the way it was formatted made me think funny numbers at first, but no. Oh, now I see how it works. Well, five letter word becomes shorter when you add two letters to it. Oh god, don't do this to me. I already have too much to work on. Ah. Ow, ow, ow. Get back here, hold your giant brain. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. And right back to the calming music. All right, let's go the other path now. See if we can find the rest of the uh, rest of the photo. Oh, hi! Would you look at that? Look at that! There's another shred of the photograph sitting in that pile of rubbish. You stay here, Professor. I'll go get it. Watch your footing, Luke. That pile of rubbish looks quite precarious. Yeah, we got it. Here it is. Oh, I can't work out why the inspector was rooting around the rubbish in the first place. Did he really think the criminal would be hiding out here? Hard to say. He could have just been sifting through it for clues or the like. Nine scraps left to find. Oh no, this is it? This is it for this section, but, but where are we supposed to go now? Oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, that was a coin. Okay, good. Let's see, we picked up seven scraps so far, but I suppose we've still got more work ahead of us. Hmm. Yes, the job's far from over. It would seem we're about halfway there, give or take a piece. We've walked the length of this alley, and I think it's safe to say we won't find anything else here. I say we focus the remainder of our search on other places the inspector might have visited. Professor and Luke decide to search the rest of the town for the remaining scrap of the photo. Okay. I guess we're just gonna fumble around. Maybe he went in here? I don't see anything glowing. Hey, sir, you got a puzzle for me now? Yeah, you do. Tell me, have you ever worked up the nerve to wander out past the edge of town? The tales I've heard about what people see out there would make your blood run cold. I recently went out there myself to take a few pictures with my best camera. When it came out, well, uh, well, here, see for yourself. Sure, sure. A ghostly puzzle. Yikes, there's a ghost in the forest. Or so you thought, until you realize that specter hovering up in front of you was just a figure cut out of wood hanging from a branch. Looking around the area, you notice four pieces of wood scattered in the grass, from which these wooden planks was the ghost cut out. You have four choices, A, B, C, or D. Beware, the correct board may have flipped over in the grass. This voice of James Dr. Frege. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I, I don't really think, I don't really think when I'm doing these voices, I just, I'm just like, okay, what is, what, what fits this lad? Anyway, A is not the answer, that's an entirely different tale. Uh, hmm. He's got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. This one has four fingers, that's not it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And the other two, oh boy, this is where things get crazy. I don't really think, yeah, buddy, me neither. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so they say it flipped over in the grass. Might be B then. <laughs> By process of elimination. Yeah. Damn, I missed it. I missed it again. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Giving myself a high five because nobody else here currently can. <laughs> Shows a photo of a real ghost. See, his arms are the wrong way around. Ah, I was paying attention to the tails, really. Oops. Well, <laughs> sorry to get your hopes up, friend. I do so love pulling that one on customers. All joking aside, no one dares enter the forest now. The whole place is overgrown and perilous. We got, 
We got an egg for the hamster. You will give me an egg. All right. Oh, hey, he's not asking for tea anymore. Oh, because he has another puzzle. Businessman slow as a snail ride a tortoise, as the old saying goes. With no customers, I don't really have much to do, unfortunately. Have any other duties here besides watching the door? Some small tasks. For instance, the boss requested that I make some extra copies of the menu. You know, it's a real bother. Would you mind helping me out? Sure. I mean, no, I, I, I don't mind, but you know. Then you see here has been folded into thirds with print on both sides, meaning until there are six pages to it. The boss needs lots of copies, but unfortunately your copy machine can only copy a maximum of two menu pages at once. <sighs> to save time, you're trying to complete a copy of the menu in as few passes through the machine as possible. With the fewest number of passages through the machine, you need to make a full duplicate of the menu. It's two, isn't it? That's what, that's what comes to mind first. Because there's just two sides to it. And like, you know, you can just do thing. I don't know. Maybe not. I, that, that seems too easy. Hmm. Hmm. Oh boy, is it time for Perry's patented get a piece of paper out and try and mimic the fucking folding pattern? Oh boy. Here we go. Eh. Eh, okay. Yep, okay. Crease that right side, okay. Okay. So we got. That's uneven. Short. Ah. Okay. I made the sides uneven. God dang it. Oh well. Uh. I got it. It's not two. It's three because of the different ways you gotta like fold it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Easy. Face of cake. Face of cake. It's been a while. <laughs> if you fold and copy the menu as shown above, you can make a complete duplicate of the menu in just three passes through the machine. Oh, is that all there is to it? I was sure there'd be some fancy technique involved. There are probably nicer ways to do it. Are you sure your boss is okay with you doing it like that? Ha! <laughs> no one's gonna notice. I was usually busy picking what they want to eat. If you say so, mister. Alright, let's get out of here. No, I'm not clicking him. No, I'm not clicking that guy in the back. Life's too short. Wait, the wait, the inspector was in here, so maybe no. No, I don't see any photo scraps. Oh, there's one. <clears throat> Is that another piece of the fr the that photograph? Yep, it sure was. Let's go outside of town though. Not outside of town, but you know, elsewhere in town. Oop! Professor, the train still stopped in the station, but there's not a soul in sight. It seems we have no choice but to remain in town. All the more reason to proceed with our investigation of the area. I suppose so. Okay, let's keep looking. Hmm. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there before. Yeah, you're in full sense now, kid, so go on and dream big, because anything's possible here. Let me welcome you newcomers with a little riddle. It celebrates a plaza like the one you and I are standing in right now. Okay, plaza puzzle. Okay. There's a big old statue in the middle of the plaza. When you take away the area occupied by a statue, plus looks sort of donut-like in shape. What you have to do is divide this donut-like plaza into two identically shaped parts using only one line. Well, before you get any big ideas, the dotted lines show below won't cut it because there are actually two lines. Oh. Try your answer on the touch screen, okay. So I gotta have two identical things that also don't cross over the where the hole where the hole is, I suppose, then is the answer here. Yeah, that wouldn't do it, no. It's a fucking pocket ball. 
So it wouldn't work it like this. It wouldn't work like that because that would be in the hmm. That would be in the middle of it. And the hole I assume he's say I assume that's meant to say like yeah, it's like eh. hmm. Let me Also sort of donut like in shape. What you have to do is divide this donut like plaza into two identically shaped parts. Identically shaped. Hmm. So it doesn't say they have to be the same size, is what I'm getting at here. So, like, if I drew a circle. So, let's say I drew a circle. They're still both circles! Eh? Eh? What do you say yes, about that, huh? <laughs> I didn't actually oh, think- okay. Have it. <laughs> I was just being a smart ass. I didn't think that would actually work. Nice. If you draw a circle around the plaza about one third of the way out from the middle, your line will divide the donut shape into two identically shaped figures that are directly proportional. In geometrical terms, shapes like these are known as similar figures. Did Leighton point at us? <laughs> yeah, he's he's been doing that. He does that when you solve the puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, lots of folks come to Full Sense dreaming of wealth and glory, but you two seem different. Yeah, take it from someone who's seen it all. Stay away from the forest to the northwest of town. <laughs> well, he's not pissed. He's just <laughs> he's like you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. We're at 76 puzzles. I think that's enough to get us through the rest of the game. Maybe. Oh, look at the inspectors for a new victim to grill. So the only way into Fulce is through narrow mountain pass on the Monetary Express. In other words, no one gets in or out of town without getting on that train, correct? Oh, I see someone's been up late doing their homework. I think you've got your facts straight, love. Age takes its toll on the memory, you know. You can never tell by looking, but I'm no spring chicken. That's quite enough, madam. If you're sure about that route into town, and we're finished here. Barton, let's go! Ah, hmm. oh, I mean, uh, yes, sir. Oh, blow me down, he's dashed off. Some boys can't sit still for five minutes. <laughs> oh, I didn't embarrass the poor lamb. I only wanted him to come in and see his show. Okay, got the, got the photograph piece. <laughs> none, none near grannies. It would be wild if it was in Granny's place, though. But I feel like they wouldn't do that to me. There's another piece. All right, six left. Where the hell could the rat? I, I feel like I'm running out of areas. Oop. Five left. Five. I, I forgot this fetch quest was even in the game, to be honest. God. Oh, you're back. Hello again, fellows. Your friendly neighborhood postman, Parcel, is at your service. Hello, Mr. Parcel. May I ask, why do you come all the way out here? Believe me, son, I'd love to tell you, but that's a secret between the people of Faux Sense and Jobstown. It's not really my place to gossip about their affairs. Oh, okay. Aye, fair enough. Did he go in the tower? That's what I want to know. No, but we have the uh, Western Man. I am just going to leave B because he, he he scares me. Did he go near the forest? No, he did not. And we're not going to be able to go any deeper in the forest for now because that's a bit of a place, isn't it? Nothing in here. I see nothing glowing. Okay. Gotta just find that last fucking. Oh, hello there. Duke. Is he supposed to look like a, is he supposed to look like a fake Luke? Because he's pulling off the look rather rather exceptionally. I just found this piece of rubbish on the ground. Ugh, littering is the most boorish habit one can have. Look, Professor, it's part of your photo. Yes, that appears to be the case. It seems the pieces really are scattered all over town. What a huge pain. It may take some legwork, but each piece brings us closer to the answer. We must retrieve them all. 
Yeah, sorry to break up the tea party, but I'm the one who picked it up, you know. If you want so badly, you have to solve this puzzle for me first, okay? Alright, turn on the light. The board showing the picture on the left is wired on the underside, so that holding contact points A and B together turns the light on. Now look at the board in the center. This light has three contact points, A, B, and C. No matter where you hold contact points A and B, B and C, or A and C together, the light stays on. In that case, how must the wires be connected on the underside of the board? Draw the solution that requires the fewest number of connections. The dotted red line indicates a known wire. Okay. Let's think on this for a sec then. Hmm. So that's a known wire for sure. But they've all got to be connected somehow with the fewest number of connections though. That's the thing. Well, this is probably the most connections. That'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's gotta be below six. That much I know, okay. Ah, my back, oh God. Oh fuck, okay, we're good, we're good. Where you hold the contact points, the light stays on. In that case, how must the wires be connected on the underside of the board? Draw a solution that requires the fewest number of known connections. Hey, wait a second. This might make you think the electricity has to run through all three of these connections, but at the same time, the positive and negative signals need to be isolated from each other, which makes things more difficult. Read the conditions you have to meet again as carefully as you can. Fewest number of connections. How many wires... Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Layton? Consider this puzzle so Layton! <laughs> and there we have it. Bright idea! All you really have to do is connect that light bulb to the battery. The puzzle tells you that the light stays lit no matter which combination of contact points are held together. Naturally, the light will also stay lit when none of those connections are made. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> You're sharper than I thought you'd be. Hey, I didn't want this silly thing anyway. There are four left to be collected. Okie dokie. <laughs> I'm sorry I got loud. I was just doing a bit. I'm not actually mad. <laughs> if anything, I'm quite entertained. Oh wait, we could go up here. Oh, I don't like you. <laughs> Can we just uh, pass you by real quick? The museum, deals, the museum doors are shut tight. There's no going in there. All right. Maybe he has a piece. Howdy, the name's Gregorio, and I'd rather run around in a chicken suit than go one day without chess. You want to get on my good side and hear what I have to say? Fine. But first, a little chess. Well, this should be interesting. Oh, God, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Lead the knight on a trip around the board. Chess knights move two squares forwards and one square perpendicular on each turn. The next direction can be up, down, left, or right. Move this knight around the entire board, landing on each square only once. God, I fucking hate chess. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I was doing the. Wow, I hate chess. I say as I flawlessly do it by just clicking randomly. <laughs> Very nice, sunny boy. There's lots more where that came from, but let's take a breather for now so you can hear my spiel. Back in the day, the town was full of aristocratic families, but one day they all just up sticks. Now some families, pretty much the only upper crusty family left in town. Well, I have gone just about everywhere looking for these goddamn scraps. And I can't find the rest. So I'm gonna assume since he had one, that means the rest of them are being held by people as well. Do you have one still? Taking in the sights, have you ever heard there is a museum? Yeah, I know. I just I can't go there right now. It's not open. We noticed we were hoping to visit, but the museum was closed when we passed by. What is the museum's owner? Owner ordered Grinko to lock it up and run around town looking for something. 
owner, you say? You happen to know who this person is? Of course, everyone does. It's the same fellow who owns a Monterey Express, if you can believe it. We build museum to some weird hottie for the rich, but it seems like a waste to me. It seems Mr. Beluga owns not only the Monterey Express, but the Herzen Museum as well. <laughs> that Bart Simpson. Bart, Bart Simpson has really let himself go in that case. How odd! What use would Mr. Beluga have for a little museum like that? Who can say? But now, what's clear to me is that Mr. Beluga may have ties to the herds that he's kept quiet about. Maybe. Done gin wagon, you two? Good. And here, look at this litter I picked up off the ground. Oh, motherfucker! I do have to talk to people. God! You were looking for this thing? Then by all means, take it. Here, it's yours. Three left. There's a long tradition of serving the full sense of elite. That's why it's my duty is to do a man serve my family doesn't follow Jessica. Okay. You don't have anything to say. Is a cameraman? Lately, no one in town wants to go near the forest. There's a path that takes you to the castle, but the castle gate leaning there is locked. Okay. I'm not stopping until I find... I'm not stopping until I find the goddamn last few pieces. Okay, I'll talk to you. Boy, you two sure do run around a bunch here. You never catch me doing that, I get all sweaty. Okay. I'll talk to you, sure. Hey guys, what you doing there? Hello, young man. We're looking for pieces of a torn photograph. Have you seen any pieces around? Yeah, the wind blew this thing by me. Is this what you two are looking for? A lot of the playgrounds, finders, keepers, but you can have it if you solve this puzzle. Uh, okay. Oh, I remember these. I remember these. I hate these. Here's a classic puzzle. The rules are simple. You move any ball on the board below as long as it satisfies the following conditions. To move, jump your selected ball over an adjacent space occupied by another ball into an empty space. You can't jump diagonally. Once you've made the jump, the ball you jumped over disappears from the board. To complete the puzzle, you must remove all balls from the board except one. Okay, enough rules. Try it out for yourself. Okay. Well, if you can't jump diagonally, then where the hell do I begin? Oh wait, no, this one's easy. It's later ones that get a little fucking weird. Consider this. That one's easy. <laughs> I remember one of them just particularly gave me a lot of trouble when I was younger. Or maybe I was just a dumb kid. I don't know. Well then, this is one configuration of a puzzle known as Peg Solitaire. As the name suggests, the traditional version of the game is played with pegs that you insert into holes in the game board. Okay. Oh, I get it now. Thank you for your help. Here's the photo scrap, just like I promised. There used to be a lot more people in Full Sense way back when. But then everyone just up and left. Oh. Oh well. If they do, don't play in the forest on the edge of town, and why is that? That's what I heard from the people in Treasure Hunt. They said the vampire with big fangs lives up there. Yikes! Anyway, even though the whole fang thing sounds creepy, that old vampire's nothing to be scared of. As long as you have a cross or some garlic, you'll be right as rain. Okay. Actually, I bet you a slice of garlic bread would be enough to do the trick. <laughs> garlic bread? Listen, I meant to ask you too. Do you know what this is? The wind blew it over here earlier. Oh, it's one of the photograph scraps we're looking for. Well, you should have it. I was going to throw it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Let me guess. You have the last one. Oh! As much as I love antiques, I endure puzzles even more. I've got a vintage puzzle that I'd love to share with you if you'd like to listen. We'd be honored to hear it. Wonderful, this puzzle involves a certain rare vase in my collection. It's on display just over there. Okay. Stones in the vase. This vase holds 101 stones, each identical in size and feel. There are 50 black stones and 51 white. Now put on this blindfold, reach in, and pull out as many stones as you like. When you've finished, if you remove an equal number of black and white stones, you'll receive an a number of gold you'll see a number of gold coins equal to the number of stones you pulled out how many stones did you remove to give yourself the best chance of getting the most money possible hmm well, i mean it seems it seems like blind luck i'd say 
personally. But maybe like somewhere in the middle, like 50, 49. You need, there are 50 black stones and 51 white stones. If you receive an equal number, wait! The answer is 100. God damn it. You think you can trick me? You think you're better than me? No. <laughs> No one outsmarts the professor. Well done. If you remove 100 stones from the base, only one will remain inside. If that remaining stone is white, it means you successfully removed 50 stones of each color. Of course, removing just two stones will give you the same chance of winning the coins. But the amount of money you receive for successfully removing 100 dwarfs the reward for two. Yep. Definitely solved. The brain like yours is a real collector's item. Oh damn, you didn't have it you didn't have a scrap for me? Then what did I do that for? God He wants your brain. Oh god, I better get out of there. Hey Barton, do you have one by chance? He's back to may seem like a grump, but I've never seen a man so head over here for his wife. Alright, that's nice. Where's Flora? Uh-oh. Ah, you startled me. Why'd you get off to, Flora? There she is. Okay. Me? Well, I, um... Come now, Luke. A gentleman never forces a lady to say more than she wants to. Oops, of course. Where are my manners? Sorry, Flora. I won't give it a second thought. Say, how'd your investigation go? Did you find out anything more about the Elysium box? A bit, but nothing concrete. What we need is more time to comb the area for clues. We could be here quite a while, so... If you feel tired, then go ahead and turn in, dear. I will. I sure hope you two find a good solid lead soon. Alright, I guess she doesn't have the last part. You rest up, Flora. God, I wish you did more. Compared to compared to Emmy in the second trilogy, she is, like, kind of inconsequential after game one. It's kind of sad. Because <laughs> she's cute, but, like, she don't do anything. Man. 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 Who have I not talked to? Or where have I not gone? Meh. I don't want to make such a kerfuffle about want wanting away from that castle. Even if you wanted to go, it's impossible to get up there. The forest gate is always locked. I'm taking this as soul patch to the castle. But you actually want to go there, don't you? It's a weird and scary place, but I know the feeling. Only opens it as stagecoach. Yeah, we, we, we've read this. Okay. You do not have the scrap. Okay. Maybe the old boomer has a... <laughs> I don't know why my brain went to say boomer. Maybe this guy has one. Yeah, you see that castle way off yonder? That bears the vampire's lair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. See him up there swooshing around his fancy cape. He's gone for me and anyone else who'd stand up and fight for the town. Alrighty then, I'll just be on my way then. You don't have anything to say. Wait, the grocer. Did I talk to the grocer separately from the other thing? What smells so garlicky in here? It's making me a bit woozy. I won't hear a word against garlic. I think it's the only thing keeping us safe from the vampire. That's how bitter the man lately. I'm still I think he also works on customers. Huh. Okay, you don't have a piece, then fuck off. I just want the last scrap. Give it to me, damn it. I'm so fucking tired. I am basically begging. Where is it? Where? Did I talk to the pancake lady again? Well, when we left town, well, when we left this part of town, they said we'd, yeah, well, maybe. Okay, yeah, you're just talking about your pancakes. <laughs> Where is it? Fuck it, I'm looking up a guy. It's, it's the last piece. There's always the one. I just need to know where it is. Come on. Where is it?
I'm so, I'm so mad, and the damn, the, the, the damn guides I'm seeing aren't helping either. It's like, come on, come on. fucking no man I just I just want to go because the detective is an incompetent little bitch and I need to get his work for him god can you believe this guy what a bunch of jokers oh wait did I talk to you after solving that puzzle hiya folks what are you two doing out here looking for something maybe indeed we are we're looking for scraps of a torn photograph have you seen any of the swords it's a rubbish then yeah Anyway, I'm pretty sure I saw I went over by the gate to the forest. Anyway, I just have to tell you how amazed I am at the number of out-of-towners I met today. I just met a girl who wanted directions to her as a castle, and now I bump into you two. A girl, you say? She looked like a classy lass. Probably in her late teens. Yeah, she's not with you two, then. He must be talking about Katya, Professor. She would certainly fit the description. You think she's after Duke Curzon's fortune? I didn't get that impression from our brief meeting, but... Something is odd, that's for certain. But enough talk. We've got a lead on the location of the final photo scrap. Let's we'll make our way to the forest gate before the wind blows our clue away. Okay, so now it shows up on the gate. Okay, game. Okay. Okay. $19 story progression. Who won't it? And yes, I'm giving it away. God, I can't, I can't believe this. I mean, this whole, this whole, this whole, this whole plot point just completely skipped my mind. Meanwhile, elsewhere... So you say he comes to town fairly often? <laughs> oh yeah! I mean, think about it, he takes the military express for free wherever he wants. Well, that's one of the perks of owning your own railway. <laughs> oh, whenever I see him around, I'll tell he's always just some hippie in a conductor's outfit. Nine times out of time, seeing he's having a go at the conductor about one thing or another. Seems to be searching for something, though I don't know what. Whatever it is, it must be pretty special if a rich guy like him can't buy it. <laughs> I still see the fuss over the Cilicia box. As far as I'm concerned, it's just a box. Inspector, pardon me, sir, but I've just received word from headquarters. His alibi checks out. Is that so? Then that's that, isn't it? Ha! Ha ha ha! Barton, we've got our man. Gather all the suspects at the hotel, we'll put this case to bed. Sir, if we know who the murderer is, shouldn't we make the arrest and be done with it? What? Barton, sometimes I think you might be the thickest bully I've ever met. There's no greater thrill in the life of a detective than accusing the guilty party in front of a crowd. This is the moment the whole case has been building towards. Now gather everyone up on the double. Um, yes, sir. Oh, tell me, your ego precedes you. I, I think that's the term. I think that's the phrase. Talk about a spooky place. Do you think the path beyond that gate leads to the castle, Professor? From what I can tell, yes. Gosh, anyone who would live out in the middle of a spooky forest like that must be a little batty. No wonder people think whoever's out there is a vampire. <laughs> Show a little courage, my boy. We oh, what's this here? Something stuck on this fence. It's the last piece of the photograph. We did it! Ah! Oh, now we gotta put it together like a puzzle, right? Now that we've recovered it, let's see if we can piece the photograph back together. Yep, okay. I remembered this part. I just didn't remember how to get that last part. But Shalayton and Luke have finally hunted down all six pieces of that photo. We assembled them to reveal the contents. Okay. Well. I've played my fair share of Bowser's Inside Story. I know how to work DS puzzles. And by puzzles, I mean jigsaw puzzles. Not, not you know, the puzzles we've been doing. Because that... <laughs> I'd be able to learn about those just by playing the game, damn it. No, nope, that's got a spike on it. Okay, wait. Oh. Okay, next edge piece has to have a bit of red on it. Okay. Nope. Hmm. Wait. No. Okay. 
Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. We gotta find another red spot. Or maybe. It's a hard part. It, it's kinda, it's, it's a little tricky. But, eh, it's not, not, I mean, <laughs> the game certainly seems to think so. It's a, it's six, it's a 60 picker at one, so it's a bit of a, bit of a chunky boy in terms of its, uh, in terms of its stats. But it's actually not that beefy at all. Okay, now we need to... Nope, not quite. Bada bing, bada boom. Here goes. Face a cake? That was nope, okay. Easy. Damn it, I thought I would say it. You did it, but what on earth is this a picture of? There, that's all of it. Boop. Gosh, Professor. Luke, were I to venture a guess, I'd say this is what we see before us is the Elysian box itself. Oh, look, the design on the box looks the same as the one in front of the fountain. Yes, I noticed the resemblance myself. What an unusual emblem. The imagery seems to resemble some sort of monster, doesn't it? Yeah. That seems appropriate, doesn't it? I mean, the box did kill poor Dr. Schrader, after all. Well, perhaps it did, and perhaps it didn't. We won't know until we have the actual item in our hands. For now, our best course of action might be to show this photo to the townsfolk and see what they say. Sounds good to me. Who knows? Maybe the photo will help jog someone's memory or... Ah! What are we gonna do now? The wind blew away one of the photo pieces! This is quite an unfortunate turn of events. That piece missing the emblem looks completely different. Luke, you, you, you could have hold, you could have held it just, just a little bit better. Come on, <laughs> let's see, feeling more like a, uh, um, frog. <laughs> oh no, he's right! <laughs> How did it only blow away the middle piece, though? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Well, if we lose any more pieces, it won't look like anything at all. Let's paste the remaining pieces down so we don't lose any more to the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking frog. When reconstructed, the photograph depicts the Elysian box. On the lid of the box is an ominous looking goat, which seems appropriate given the box's sinister reputation. The goat emblem. A large ominous symbol in the shape of a goat's head decorates the top of the Elysian box. This same symbol can be spotted in the town of Full Sense. What connection exists between the box and the town? Professor and Luke decide to continue their investigation in town. Well, we could continue. Oh, wait. <coughs> Sorry. Hey, Professor Layton, sir. Barton, my good man. Whatever is the matter? The inspector has found the person responsible for Dr. Strader's murder. I have strict orders to round up everyone at the hotel as quickly as possible, sir. Understood. We'll head there without delay. Come, Luke. Let's hurry. <laughs> Professor and Luke decide to return to the hotel. Never mind! I thought that was a good cutoff point, but apparently... Oh, wait, no. This is, this is a perfect cutoff point, actually. Never mind. Well. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it here, because it's almost been three hours. Oop. Stop. Wait a minute. <laughs> so, thank you for coming. Thank you for staying. Thank you for watching the show. And we will continue from here with maybe the final stream as we head into the castle. See y'all on, what day is it? Wednesday.